to seven. So it all comes down to the 10th end. Mitch Height draws to the button for the win. And Saskatchewan takes home the gold medal. There's the proud father. There was deuces scored the whole game, so we knew it was, we could do it. Just had to make the shots, and we did. We put it together. New Brunswick wins silver, Alberta bronze, and after our coverage of the semifinal of the Nokia Briar, then we're back at the closing ceremony. Here's Bruce Rainey and Kim Dion to tell us more. All right, thank you, Brenda. 44 Salmon Boulevard in Campbellton is where you will find the Civic Center. Preparations continue for the closing ceremony. 5 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Atlantic on CBC Television. We'll have great coverage for you. About 1,600 athletes will be involved. The mood should be incredible. We've had a great couple of weeks. Yes, we have, and it's been an amazing two weeks of sporting competition for everyone involved. And it's going to be an amazing finale here today at the Campbellton Civic Center for the closing ceremony. A reminder, 5 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Atlantic is when you can see our coverage. And before we go today, we'd like to take you back and show you a couple of weeks of great highlights, emotion, and sensation from the 2003 Canada Winter Games in Bathurst, Campbellton. What a tremendous couple of weeks it has been on the North Shore of New Brunswick. More than 3,000 athletes were here competing in one of 21 different sports. And what a tremendous couple of weeks it certainly was for the province of Quebec. It was the clear-cut winner in the medal standings. And also winners in New Brunswick were the volunteers. 6,000 of them were needed to stage these Canada Winter Games. So congratulations to them and a job well done. Now, coming up in about three and a half hours from now, Bruce Rainey, Kim Dion, Joe Motiki, and myself will be back with the closing ceremony. But right now, let's head down the road to Halifax, Nova Scotia for the semifinal of the Nokia Briar. For everyone here, I'm Brenda Irving. Thanks for watching. Halifax, home of this year's Nokia Briar, where the home team is poised on a curling breakthrough for Nova Scotia. A decidedly partisan crowd arriving fashionably late. They'll pack the Metro Center here today. It's the best attended Briar on record in Eastern Canada. 
turning back the hands of time. It was 1951 when the Briar was first played in Halifax. History will record that was the last time Nova Scotia won. Home ice for the home team. Skip Mark Dacey, a transplant from the Prairies, has put down roots in Nova Scotia. In the province where the men play second fiddle to Colleen, this guy has a point to prove at the Blue Nose Briar. BC's Pat Ryan is among the most celebrated skips in the game. A three-time champion whose career at the Briar has spanned four decades. Now the Ryan Express has a new head of steam with a retooled team in British Columbia. Today, Mark Dacey plots a Nova Scotia course not charted in 52 years. Pat Ryan's quest for a fourth title must travel the semifinal. Championship curling on CBC. From Halifax, Nova Scotia, it's the semifinal of the Nokia Briar. Today, the host, Mark Dacey Rink of Nova Scotia, meets the Pat Ryan team representing BC. There's the Metro Center tucked next to the Citadel in downtown Halifax. The scene of our coverage today as we come inside where the Down East hospitality has been the hallmark of another Blue Nose Briar. Good afternoon and welcome to semi-final Saturday. This is the fifth time that the Briar has been held in Halifax and no doubt there are folks out here today who remember the first back in 51 because that remains the last time a team from Nova Scotia has been victorious in Briar competition and that's the historic context that surrounds Mark Dacey and his team from Nova Scotia. Pat Ryan well he's been through this before a three-time champion he's got the edge and experience but that might well be tested after his game came off the rails yesterday in the playoffs as we recap the road to the semifinal today beginning with the round robin standings. Randy Furby and his team from Alberta unbeaten and leading the way at 11 and 0. The remaining playoff contenders all at 7 and 4. BC, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick second, third and fourth. And in the page playoff format, the 1-2 game matching number one Alberta against second place Pat Ryan and BC. The winner going directly to the final, the loser to today's semi in the 3-4 game that featured Nova Scotia's Dacey against New Brunswick's Russ Howard. The loser there eliminated from competition. And this was the scene last night, the 1-2 game, Furby and Ryan, best friends and former teammates. And in the fourth end, Alberta up 2-1. Nedowin here with a chance for four. Zrul rolls out for a triple and a 5-1 lead here in the fifth end. Ryan curling 64% of the night, a tough one for him. He's usually a cinch on the takeouts, but here he'll miss it giving up a steal of two, a 7-1 lead for Furby. They'll shake hands after the seventh, make the final, 8-2 Alberta. They're unbeaten now at 12-0 and in the final. In the 3-4 game, Dacey and Howard, the all-maritime matchup. And in the fifth end, Dacey here. With the touch he had all afternoon long, scoring a triple. With the hit and stick. And the lead at 4-2 in the 10th end. Dacey with a 6-4 advantage. Throws a freeze here with his last rock. It's simply perfect. Howard needs a deuce to force an extra end, but realizing he has no option, no chance. He shakes hands. Nova Scotia defeats New Brunswick 6-4. Well, that sets up today's matchup on semifinal Saturday. The Nokia Briar, Dacey of Nova Scotia with the better record, 8 and 4, but Pat Ryan and BC with better percentages. Although Skip Pat Ryan has been unusually inconsistent this week, and he's standing by with Don Whitman. Thanks, Mark. Pat Ryan, would it be fair to say you struggled in the one versus two game? <laughs> I think it's a fair statement. Uh, we had a little practice this morning. I think I ironed a few things out, so. Uh, should be a better performance this afternoon, I think. Was there something wrong in the game against Furby? Uh, someone said that some of your rocks were cutting a little more than normal? A little bit. I, uh, I chose a couple of rocks that were moving more and uh, thought they'd be to my advantage, but it uh, um, could have been a combination of things. But uh, anyways, we've got a different set today, and uh, there'll be no excuses. 
a rematch of the final draw and round robin competition, which you won to prevent a lot of tiebreakers taking place. Uh, you obviously you're hoping for the same result today. Well, you bet. Uh, we played well the last five guys have played super the last five games, just uh, pretty well unbeatable. It's, it's a matter of what I do. And uh, uh, you're right. The last game was big against Mark, and uh, it's, it's even bigger right now. So uh, this will be the one for us. Good luck. Thanks. Now let's go over to Joan McCaskill. Thanks, Don. Mark Dacey, congratulations on, on guiding this Nova Scotia team to this playoff spot. How are the nerves on the team today? Well, I think everybody's pretty calm, relaxed. Um, we've uh, you know, been here all week, obviously, and um, you know, now we're the only game on the ice, but we were the only game on the ice yesterday. So um, we're quite comfortable, uh, confident, and very relaxed. Now, you lost to BC in the round robin game. How much will that affect the game today? Um, they really shut down our offense in that game, and um, their offense didn't really um, blow out in that game either until the 8th end when they stole two, and Pat Ryan made a fantastic double. So, um, you know, it's going to be a, a similar type game, I think, where uh, you just have to capitalize on your opportunities because there probably won't be a whole bunch. And how will playing in front of the hometown affect the game today? Well, obviously, we're going to have a few more people cheering for us than for them, and uh, we've been trying all week to draw on that energy. Um, it takes a lot of energy to, to complete an event like this, and, uh, you know, it's a time in the week when uh, any extra energy you can get from the crowd is very helpful. Well, good luck today. Thanks, Mark. Thank you very much. Let's join Mark Lee. Thanks, Joe, with Mike Harris. Uh, Mike, uh, Nova Scotia with the home ice advantage, so to speak, but how about the ice? They say it's been a lot better here since the last time they played the Briar in Halifax in 95. Well, in 95, they had real humidity issues. The, the weather was terrible, and they had no dehumidifiers in the building. Since then, they've upgraded significantly, adding five or six dehumidifiers, so really hasn't been an issue all week. What kind of a game do you think we'll see played out here today? Well, ice conditions are that the rocks are currently about four feet, so I anticipate a lot of rocks in play. Both Nova Scotia and Pat Ryan's uh, BC team are very comfortable with a lot of rocks. They had a low-scoring round robin game, but every end seemed to have five or six rocks in the forefoot, so look for more of the same today. All right, Mike, look forward to your analysis this afternoon. A home team with a chance to go to the final on home ice as Ashley McIsaac puts a Celtic touch on the week that was. The Nokia 7210 phone with available camera headset. The new pocket translator. We make multimedia messaging as easy as see, snap, and send. Nokia, connecting people. They say football is a game of inches. I wish. We had inches. The Scott Tournament of Hearts. Proud sponsor of women's curling for 22 years. It's a good bond between friends and strangers on a Saturday night. We're more or less a working people. We gotta pull together. Make sure your pictures last for generations. Is Sarah there? Make sure the paper says Kodak. Show her what you look like. Kodak paper has advanced technology. Told you. Identical. Technology that resists fading and keeps your pictures brilliant for generations. Share the moments, share the life. Find Kodak paper at these fine retailers. Love working the dogs together. 
It's fun to watch the young pups as they come up in the family. And it's great to be part of the True Value family. Our customers know they can count on us for good sense, good service, and doggone good value. True Value, official hardware supplier of the championship curling. The Noki of Briar, live on CBC. Brought to you by Sheridan. See for yourself. By Karcher. You'll look for things to clean. By Ford. Built for life in Canada. And by Nokia. Official wireless phone of the season of champions. Welcome back to semifinal Saturday of the Nokia Briar along the scenic coastline here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, the home province in the semifinal for the first time since the playoff format was adopted in 1980. There are two previous wins in 1927 and 1951 when the title went to the first place team in the round robin. As we go to the booth, and welcome Don, Joan, and Mike. Thank you, Mark. Hi, everybody. Joan, I don't think there's much doubt that Mark Dacey and his Nova Scotia team are going to be the crowd favorite today for obvious reasons. But you have played against Mark in the past in mixed competition. I think it's safe to say he's a very intense competitor. Mark Dacey is from Saskatchewan, a very competitive player in both curling and golf in the late 80s and 90s in Saskatchewan. He, in fact, made it to the Briar here in Halifax in 1995, playing third for Brad Height. Also in that 95 Briar was his third, Bruce Lonis, who was skipping the Nova Scotia entry. Mark has played with Rob Harris. They are Canadian mixed champions as well, and they've rounded out the team with Andrew Gibson. So Mark Dacey moved here to Nova Scotia in 95 and has put together a provincial all-star team for this competition. Well, Nova Scotia does have some Briar experience, but nothing to compare to Pat Ryan playing in his 10th Briar. He also put together back-to-back -to -back wins in 88-89. What do you expect from the Ryan team? Well, Pat's have been a little inconsistent. Uh, we saw in the one-two page game last night that he really struggled, curled in the 60s. He's been up and down all week, 62% yesterday, but five games in the 90s throughout the week, and Bob Ursula at third's really been solid all week for him. But they're, they're, uh, they're champions. They're coming back today very relaxed and look for them to be very, very tough. Joan, is there any one position that could be a deciding factor today? Well, I think the setup will be with the thirds. Uh, Bruce Lonas for Nova Scotia versus Bob Ursel for BC. These two players can play very well, Bob Ursel being a little bit more solid than Bruce all week. It'll, it remains to be seen if they can make all their shots and leave some things for the skips. With all those rocks in the forefoot, that could set up how the game's going to play out today. Well, it should be an interesting battle, not only an opportunity to advance to the Briar final tomorrow against Randy Furby, but the winner of today's game also gets an Olympic trials berth. So, Mark, there's a lot on the line. Right, Don, and the last time the Briar was held here in Halifax back in 95, that was Mark Dacey's only previous experience. As Joni mentioned, we'll revisit that scene. Dacey playing third for Saskatchewan's Brad Height, taking on Manitoba's Kerry Burtnick in a shootout final. The game tied in the 10th, 8-8. Burtnick here scores a deuce with the hammer to win it, 10-8, a tough one to take for the Saskatchewan natives. And in an era where the women of Nova Scotia have dominated the headlines, witness Colleen Jones' three straight Scott titles. Dacey, who plays out of the same Mayflower Curling Club, has some added incentive this afternoon. Before we get underway with the first end, here's a quick primer of the rules of play in Briar competition. The three rock free guard zone is in effect. Each team is allowed 73 minutes of stop time with two timeouts of one minute in duration. And we're ready to go. Semi-final Saturday here at the Nokia Briar. And once again, Don, Joan, and Mike. Well, during round robin competition, Mark, 5-1 was the score with BC prevailing over Nova Scotia. And as we mentioned when we talked with Pat Ryan, the BC skip, that victory by British Columbia prevented a lot of tiebreakers taking place to determine the four ranks uh, that would participate in the playoffs. Nice in Pat Ryan, in talking to him yesterday, said every okay, game look. in this playoff round, he's approaching he's as though it might be his last ever Briar appearance. So this is a very important game for Ryan. It's equally as important for Mark Dacey. Of course, he participated in a Briar representing Saskatchewan 
Curling for Brad Height here in Halifax in 1995. In the one versus two playoff game that year, they were victorious over Kerry Burtnick of Manitoba on an extra end. But then in the championship game, Kerry Burtnick won by a score of 10 8. The first stone into the rings. And British Columbia, last rock advantage on this opening end as Andrew Gibson places his rock in the forefoot. And Pat Ryan wasting no time in being uh, the aggressor and throwing up the corner guard. And watch for about uh, three to four feet of swing on this ice today. Yep. Player, yeah. Players to a man have really been impressed with the conditions that Hans Wittrick has Have provided one. them with all week. <laughs> Kevin McKenzie being the, the character on this uh, team. Well, there's several Please. characters actually on that easy yep. team. Play, play. Play, yep. And Mike, I'm not surprised hard. to see lots Finish of rocks in play right in the Finish first end hard. here in this uh, semifinal. Finish it hard. It's been the story of the whole Finish week. Lots of rocks Come on. and the players Come going yep. for that free guard zone good, early good, good. in the game. Andrew Gibson, the youngest member of this Nova Scotia team, and he was saying what a thrill it shots. is just to be here participating in a briar, particularly in his hometown. Whoa. Kevin McKenzie drives the guard back through the rings, just missing. The Red Rock sitting in the four-foot circle. What's that? What'd you have on that one? A little longer this time, Rob. A little higher. Halfway. Or 85-ish. Clean. Feels up. Clean. No, it's not up. Clean it. At 80. Okay, Whoa, lot of rope. And you hear them talking Clean about up. the numbers. Great. The 85-ish. They are talking again about those Clean. split times. Whoa, using line's the tight. stopwatch to the, the back line to the first hog. Close. No. Close. No. No, it's not on it yet. Bring it in. Yep. 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 Yeah, Rob Harris pulling the stone into the top of the 12-foot. You think there's a little curling disgust in the Harris household? His wife, Lainey Peters, a competitive curler, and the fifth for Colleen Jones, who will be representing Canada at the upcoming Worlds. 80. Well, I'm sure, and uh, Rob's got, uh, there's eight, eight siblings in his family, and they're all curlers. There's Lainey Peters. Nice hack. Oh. BC Whoa. looking for a quiet Whoa. hit and roll. Up a bit. Drop Other way. Well, yeah. Three. Three. And this is where communication becomes key, is to let the uh, skip know what kind of weight has been thrown on these hits. What we saw all week is that if you upped your weight just a little bit, it certainly affected when the rock might start to curl. Oh. Here, right? Yeah, we're Usually gonna... when we talk about weight control, it's always about the draw weight. But uh, th this particular event, it's, it's been about hit weight and, and uh, any Adding weight or taking Whoa. weight off really affects how much the rock Whoa. curls and when it starts to curl. Please. So, no. again, as you mentioned, Close. communication is the key to making these yep. shots. Yep. Now, what about the systems right these two teams use? Well, they use more conventional. And again, a lot of times when we talk about the, the systems used, particularly the Kirby team, they're <laughs> all geared the around draw, yeah. you know, draw times and things. So, you talk about 3.75 split times and yeah, and there's zones one through ten. When you're talking about hit, you're almost talking about it's an entirely different uh, scenario. They usually it lasts for a board weight, and really the communication from the sweepers will be whether it's heavier or lighter than the weight they asked for. Whoa, whoa. Little firm house. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Hard, give it. Turn it out. Dean Horning with an inside roll, and he gets behind cover in the eight foot. And that's well buried. That's completely gone. Prepared, Good no. news for Nova Scotia. It is Start. behind the tee line. Um, oh uh. Beautiful roll. Boy. 
Bruce Lonas, a three-time Briar competitor. Gotta go. Gotta Clean. Go. Line all right? Yep. Line's fine. Weight's great. Clean. It's light, Rob. Yep. It's light. Room. Gotta go. A little light. Gotta go. Line's good, guys. We're Hard. Brucey. Okay. Room. 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 Yep. Hard. Whoa, 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 easy. Great whoa. looking shot here. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Oh, well, when he let it go, he said it's light, and I guess he was by about eight inches. <laughs> uh, it's sometimes you have to be careful as sweepers that you're making that judgment call. Bruce followed that stone the whole way down and was telling them, you have to go, it's light, you have to go. And as sweepers, uh, Rob Harrison and Andrew Gibson need to take in, gather that information, but make their own judgment calls. Well, hold up. I'm good. Have a lot. Got room. Five. Have a lot. Five, six. Got room. Six. Whoa. Let me do it. Whoa. Six, seven. Oh, no bump. The difference Shoot. in the system BC uses no to bump. that employed by Alberta. No. Whoa. With BC, six That's means T-line. For Alberta, seven <laughs> is T-line. So Alberta uses a system of one to 11 numbers, and BC uses a system of one to 10 what to determine the zones between the hog line and the okay. back line. Bob Ursel's father, Jim Ursel, was a Briar champion. There he is, representing Quebec. The only time that Quebec won the title in Montreal in 1977. Great chance here Whoa. for Bruce Lonis to Whoa. get rid of this ah, yellow shot stone, but also to, to get a nice ah, little roll. Back line plus. Whoa, no whoa, line, whoa, Rob. Whoa. No line at Wow. 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 That a curl. Off. Bruce Lonas cleanly punching the Yellowstone through. Nova Scotia lies two. Two nice shots by Bruce in the first end and certainly saved the end. Yeah. Bobby At the end, whether to try to roll it away. I didn't think rolling away was no. very good. Back. Nice weight. Didn't, uh, Bruce, Bruce has uh, really been, look, he's been a little bit up and down as mentioned all week, so it was good for him to, to come down and, and make two, two big shots here in, in this uh, semifinal and put Act. some pressure on to Bob Ursel. It's a key matchup we did we mention. Bob is whoa. well known as one whoa. of the best players in the country at third. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Good one. Hey, pretty good. Nice. Almost got away with a little double take out there, a little quiet weight tap. But. Pretty good, Bob. Oh, just a little sooner on that. We probably sit in two. Maybe. Well, we asked Mark why he uh, moved to Portage Nova Scotia. That's the reason why. <laughs> his his oh, wife, uh, Heather Smith Dacey, uh, they met. At a curling event, and uh, Mark followed his heart all the way back to New Brunswick at the time where Heather uh, wa uh, was residing. And Mark would be the first to say that ice conditions here in the Metro Center this year are dramatically improved over what he participated in in 1995, the last time the Briar was held in Halifax in the Metro Center. Clean! Whoa! Whoa! Clean! Whoa! 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 Snow! Whoa! 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 Andrew! Yep! Yep! Whoa! Hard Andrew! Hard! Whoa! 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 Boy, they're getting some beautiful rolls behind cover. They now lie too. Shot. They had to wait for this one again with a little bit up weight. The rock doesn't start to curl to the very end of its path. Beautiful hit and roll. Mark Dacey attempting to steal on this opening end. They haven't had a lot of success during the round robin four. play, only stealing points here, four times. You're going to know this and we're going to yeah, be in trouble. Yeah. So let's try to yeah, I don't know. roll with it here. Okay. I, I, I kind of like that. Top, we leave two buried probably. Roll for shot at the back here, eh? Roll four, eh? Let's just get the draw weight down so we can make our Let's, draw, wanna, let's we draw into it. Yeah, exactly. Draw into it. You can play the bump if you got the weight. We're looking okay? For five, six. Okay. Sweep again. I can't see any of it, eh? Maybe tap this one back an inch or two. Have the stone stop here, but 
Initially, they were talking about hitting and rolling that stone into the back forefoot area just to maybe open up the forefoot a little bit. But I guess we want a side freeze. If we can, if we are arcing in there and we can bump it and yeah. without rolling out too much, yeah. it might get shot rocked. <coughs> it's not likely, but second shot would be nice. Should draw weight down. There's a good look at it. Uh, trying to play the hit on that. Uh, very, very little of the shot stone can be seen. So a good call. Trying to make a corner freeze on the shot stone. I like the freezing. There's a little bit more Three, room for three, margin five, six. error. Although it's whoa, it's very whoa. small. But I'm good. Clean. Room. Six. Whoa, whoa, six. Whoa, whoa, six. Whoa, whoa, six. Seven. This lots has got to curl a mile. Six. Lots of room. This Around way. it. Here. 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 Pat Let's wants to make sure he's shot back. rock go here to hard. make sure that Nova Scotia needs hard. to make a play at this. Hard, 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 hurry! And they will have to make a play at it because it is shot, but it's not frozen <coughs> against the redstone as he had hoped for. No, it's, it was a very, very difficult shot, but uh, that gives Pat a good uh, practice run at his next shot. Pat Ryan's wife, Marie. Good one, good wait. Looking a little good nervous, <laughs> like us spouses do when we're watching watching our, our loved ones play. Yeah, two feet back, eh? I've got it perfectly locked. And Pat wanted us to say hello to his children. Derek, right, who is at home, and Lindsay at McMaster, who more. are obviously watching Tied today. Mark does not want to save the shooter here. He'd like to roll away. Force Pat to make a cold draw to the button. May even be able to make the double on the two yellows and lie three. It's for a little added pressure. Yep! Real hard. Hard! Real hard! Real hard! Real hard! Hard! Whoa! Hard! Mine! Mine! Whoa! Great shot. Nova Scotia lies three, but without last rock, but a pressure draw facing Pat Ryan with his final stone of this opening end. It was uh, funny. Pat just for a moment looked at hitting that stone. Mark did stay deuce. tight enough to, to lie three there, and uh, just for a moment looked like he was going to play a hit yeah. and roll into the back of the forefoot, but uh, he has elected to draw. Hey, okay, Pat, same thing. Pat Ryan with his final stone of the opening end will have to be full forefoot or Dacey and his Nova Scotia team will steal. And we'll try to listen to the sweepers upon release, see what they think. Remember, six is T-line in their terminology. Kevin McKenzie holding his stopwatch. He's going to take a split time as well just for confirmation. The split time that they use is the T-line to that Plus first hog line seven. just now. If you watch the sweepers, good. they're Keep looking going. up from the rock to where Hurry. they're going. Look, look. Helps them judge. Clean, clean. Easy. 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 Oh, oh. oh, it slides too far. It's a steal of two for Nova Scotia. So a great start for Mark Dacey as he attempts to advance to tomorrow's championship game against Randy Furby. Yeah. You already know these uses for your karcher. Here's a few you might not have thought of. The hat rack. The shower. The centerpiece. The chandelier. You can always use a karcher. The world's largest hotel chain is almost anywhere you want to go. The world's largest hotel chain tucks you in around the globe. With over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, the world's largest hotel chain is Best Western. Inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Call 1-800-WESTERN or visit bestwestern.com. Ah, Nova Scotia.
an unforgettable place where saltwater cities, living history, and legendary hospitality meet. A place with 7,400 kilometers of coastline dotted with charming seaside towns. A place that really swings. More than just a vacation, this is Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Contact us today for your free vacation guide. Ford Hot Shots celebrating its ninth season this year's first prize. A Ford Focus ZX5 valued at more than $23,000. And a Nokia 6310 World Phone. In this skills competition, curlers go head to head, delivering six different shots from a hit and stick to a double takeout, each worth a maximum five points. The final four, all seconds. Mark Lecoq of New Brunswick, Phil Gorvet of PEI, Newfoundland's Jamie Korab and Northern Ontario's Mike Desolet. It came down to Gorvet of Charlottetown here, attempting to come through the port. His sweeper's on. He needs to put this rock on the button, and he will for five points and a total of 19 out of a possible 30 points on the day. Then Lecoq of Moncton, needing to hit and stay, looking for a piece of the button, also for five points and a total of 20. And so it's PEI's Phil Gorvet and Mark Lecoq of New Brunswick in the Ford Hot Shots final. Back at the Metro Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia with a steal of two in that first end and a 2-0 lead as we get set for the second. A reminder that coming up next on Sports Saturday, the Canada Winter Games go out with a flurry. The closing ceremonies on the final weekend from Bathurst, Campbellton, New Brunswick, immediately following today's Nokia Briar semifinal. Don to the second end. Well, it's been a busy time in the Maritimes with the Canada Games in Bathurst and the Briar here at the Metro Centre in Halifax. Mark Dacey and his Nova Scotia team stealing two on yeah, the opening yeah, end. Yeah. As I mentioned, only four times during round robin competition were they able to steal points. And this is a nice way to start. Any time? Incredibly, incredibly good. So here during the break, uh, Andy! Bob Ursel uh, during the break mentioned that he thought Mark started sweeping a hair early. Now that's, that's a little nitpicky in the sense that he never did sweep in front of the T line, but you can see how intense these competitors are out here. And uh, when it it did come down to a measure at the end, we, but uh, it was uh, it certainly was a deuce. But uh, you know, really, the sweepers swept that end end right out of right out of Pat Ryan's hand, and just a little mistake on their part certainly cost them two points. And I think it alludes a little bit uh, to what I was saying earlier in the end about sweepers need to uh, to in gather the information of what the thrower is telling them, but they know what they're doing and use their own judgment as to whether they should sweep or not. Um, and uh, as we've seen in the past in these these very big Whoa. games, Whoa. the semifinals and the finals, uh, sometimes there's a little adrenaline Whoa. going and there's a little panic in I the call and Whoa. sometimes in the Whoa. 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 Off button. Clean, yep. No. Easy. Stay with it. No. Top button. No. Stay with it. Queen. Yep. 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 Well, the Mackenzie name is certainly familiar to curlers across the country. Right up the over there, guys. Kevin's sister Kelly won the Canadian Junior Championship in Regina in 1995 and she participated along with Kevin this year in the Canada Cup Drive in back. Kamloops. All right. Good. What? What? The Mackenzie family hailing from Manitoba. Yeah, the Manitoba team of John Bubbs struggled this week, so some of the Manitoba right people in attendance Please. here were claiming the biter's good. Players from no. other provinces as their own. Mine's good, clean. Yep. Well, and there are a few of them here. Hard. Well, three of the players on okay. BC's team are come from uh, Winnipeg. Hard, finish it a bit. Hard, 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 hard. I think they were calling them hard. the Blue Buffaloes. The Blue Buffaloes. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Good shot, Andy. Good boy, Andy. Important for Pat Ryan now to stay patient. And uh, you almost treat that as if. Uh, Mark had the hammer in the first end. Mark Dacey had the hammer and, and move on and uh, Whoa. try to, try to Whoa. generate two points of your own here with Last Rock in the second Whoa. end. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a roll? Roll. 
Good shot. Good boy, Mac. Kevin takes off the top red stone. He and uh, the family, the McKenzie family, moved to Kelowna in 1996 and uh, started up a business there, the Neutralon Lawn Care Center. Clean. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, close, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. 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 hard, hard, hard. So far through the first end and the few rocks that we've played in this end, Nova Scotia is very sharp in getting the roles they are looking for. They are, and you, you go back to that first end when uh, Dean Horning made what appeared to be a nice roll behind the corner guard, but again, behind the tee line, it, it really was not to their advantage to have a rock back there. And, and although it appeared to be a great shot, uh, certainly Nova Scotia took advantage of that stone and, and uh, was, it was able right. to create uh, a good Close situation for themselves. Well, Dean Horning has to do a lot of Clean. traveling Whoa. to Clean. practice and play with this team. He lives at Nacusp, about a three-hour drive from Kelowna, and has to make that trip about 23 or 24 times a year. That's dedication. Good job. Very dedicated player, as you said, Don. Also, if you consider that he has three very young Got children, or hit and roll. Uh, uh, a five-year-old Caitlin like and twins hey. that are oh, 16 months Why old, no, Jamie and roll. Tara. What do you want? I don't care. Wouldn't mind getting the draw in. Yep. 70. Stay above the tee. Yep. It should hold out there for a while and then go hard at the end. This is the first time they've played this wide on this end. Will they encounter some differences in ice conditions out there? Not at all. Yep. The ice has been great all Pull week, in, and uh, with the players, Pulls, yep. uh, yep, with the ice up. technicians, they right, actually clipped the pebble yep. off uh, across the right, entire right, sheet. So right, conditions are pretty uniform yep, right across the sheet right, until later right. in the game when the right. you know, the slide path areas tend to tend to lose their pebble. Just a touch off that stone. And the sitting out front and the sweepers didn't want to continue sweeping that one they knew that it was going to be coming behind the tee line and that's why they they actually allowed that one uh to tick because they knew even if they got yeah, it by the, the guard it was going to slip right yeah. in behind the tee line looks pretty good eh? good well, we talked all week about how this oh. ice is so conducive to great oh, sweeping Room. Able to carry it, but once it starts to break, right, it's really hard to save it. You know, you really have to, to anticipate the curl. Freeze. And uh, again, when good. communication yeah, of draw away becomes so good. critical. Clean. Do it. Bumping. Oh, line's good. See, they're going to miss this guard by a good four inches, and this should easily inside. get to the nose. Actually, Actually gets inside. to the inside. So huge finish on the ice out here. Oh, the first one just like. Well, Hans with Uthrich has uh, that provided. I said clean. I'm thinking. Great Don't playing conditions. He's the man sitting on the left. Uh, like, okay. He's just keeping his fingers crossed that there isn't a rapid increase in temperature outside and rain over the next uh, 36 hours. Yes, although the, the dehumidifying system has been upgraded, it's it's still, Hans is saying it's still not quite to where they need it to be if they did get a, a deluge and some warm weather. So we've been very lucky here all week in the sense that it has been quite cold and, off, go ah, soon. and Hans ah, has been able to control conditions inside the arena. Curl. Yeah, you're up. Off. Off, off, off. Yeah. He had to wait on this one. It, the, the, the line was much wider out, even though his weight was pretty close. Did not get the curl. Great chance here for BC to get right back in back it. Freeze right to where Pat had his Can we bounce off a red at all? I like it right here. Yeah, look at the screen. Bob Ursel works five, with the six, homicide six. unit oh, 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 in oh, British Columbia, line. based six. in uh, oh, Kelowna with the RCMP. Six, seven. Good line. Oh, seven. Oh, oh. Bump right off, right off, right off. No. Bumping it. Got a curl. Okay. That's okay. Shot, Bobby. Oh boy. 
And Bob is a former Canadian and world junior champion, winning the Canadian. In the 84 champion did not represent the country in the Stop world championship. They the went right the angle. following year, which made things a little difficult yeah. at times, but he was able Can't to win in 1985. As Father Jim watches on, Bob attempting to duplicate the performance of his dad and etch his name Control, on the Briar Tankard. Now, Bob was trying to come in right well, on top of that right yellow uh, shot stone, and because he has knocked the red stone back, this gives Bruce Lonis a chance to, to remove at least one of those yellow stones, perhaps both. Off. Whoa! Off. Yep! Whoa! Off. Whoa! Off. Right off! Right off, never. Right off! No, never. He just needs to get over that four foot line to hit okay. it where they'd like. Okay. Okay. BC lies one. Ursel asking Pat Ryan who was shot, and Ryan took a look from above and you just reconfirmed that the Yellowstone no, is really. shot. What did you get for time? 90. 95. And to hear the numbers that BC is using, 90, 95, that's 2.90 on 2.95. They time from the T line to the hog line, not Four from the back five. line to the hog line. The so real. their numbers will Rub. be different than Mark Dacey's team's Hard. numbers. Hard. Hard. Hard line. Boeing, it's on the guard. And there's a situation where the stone's a little lighter and took right. the curl early, and they had no chance of getting it by the guard. So, it did act as a guard on that stone in the forefoot, however. With the tap. Okay, as long as I'm getting the angle on the yellow, we're going to yep. be in pretty good shape. Yep. Raise. Hey guys, okay, they weren't pounding it. They were saying what? Five? Five, six. Five. There it is. It had. It had. T line weight. Yep. Looking for a little raise on that red guard. T line weight. He's going to tap this stone. Big thing is hit an inch, inch off nose on the broom side. Yeah. the inside corner of that yellow stone. And by doing so, we'll have left his shooter as a guard and also be sitting. A little more ice, Bruce. Stone. Tidy bit more. Broom hit? Yeah. difficulty of this shot is anticipating when the rock is going to curl to raise the the top well, one exactly the way line. they want Wait to. Rob, low line, clean, Rob, clean, whoa, 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 up. whoa, let it curl out of will, whoa, let it curl, a lot up, and ash, oh, let it curl, and ash, whoa. whoa, just right here, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Mark Dacey right, urging the rock that he just threw to finish, but it didn't curl as much as he anticipated it would. Stopped in a really good spot, Phil. It uh, went into a spot where he red, can actually angle in. raise. Well, we could go here. Stone. That's good, eh? Hmm? Gives him the end of the pack, though, eh? Well, he's going to stick here then. I mean, <clears throat> if we touch this thing, though, we're going to. If I bump shot. this. This one's moving in. It might be shot, eh? Yeah. Guard it. Let's go in there, I can't guess. Guard it. The can't guard both sides. Right here, eh? Yeah. yeah. Where were you there? The T line are better here, eh? Well, that yellow rock's not really going anywhere. Oh, well, good. Tough shot here. Trying to Behind come around the that guard and. Get the Yellowstone into a position well, buried, deep enough okay. where the hit and roll yeah. won't be there for Mark Dacey. Don't want to leave this kind of top four foot half open, Joan, where 
No, they were talking about getting it to T-line at least, perhaps behind T, uh, but you have to be careful that you're still staying around for a second shot as well. Very difficult placement what about of that, stones. Pat? All right. Shot. Yeah. Come down then. We've talked about this in the past. If you change your mind in the hack, experienced skips will come back down and take a look at it. You can never flop in off that. Ain't he's right? he's packed. He's pounding that one out. I think it's a better shot. Yeah, we're right. we're pounding our yellow out the way. Yeah, but if we get to it, flop in for second shot. I mean, he's well, if second shot isn't good enough. If we can get to the shot, get around the corner, but it might do it. You set up a three. It. Then oh, yeah. let him go ahead and pound it out. Right. I mean, we can slip. Uh, probably not. <sighs> That sigh from Pat Ryan, though. Uh, oh, that huge curl here, that's all. Indicates the predicament he realizes he's in. Bumped it well, the rings are very tight right now. There's not a lot of room for uh, manipulation with the stones. And, and uh, regardless of what Pat does, more than likely, Mark will hit the stone on the left side at the top of the eight foot and onto Pat Ryan's BC stone and, and take it out and, and give Pat a draw for two. The question is going to be whether or not putting the stone here is easier than putting it over here and and really that's up to pat to decide and see which one he likes better and as bob pointed out early in the thought process <coughs> if you bump the yellow stone, the four. you won't be shot stone anymore the the red stone in the back of the forefoot becomes the the first or second shot i kind of like this first call actually <laughs> but but uh, this either, either one you but they're both difficult you just have to make the one you decide to call in the end Clean. Five, six. Just Whoa. fine. Whoa. Five, six. Whoa. Just fine. Clean. Six. Whoa. Five. One good. Whoa. Whoa. Right here. Whoa. Clean. Clean. One good. Fight the four. Whoa. Gotta go. Fight four. Fight four. <laughs> Hard. Hard. Whoa. 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 Hard. Whoa. Whoa. Good as good as I could have done. Great sweeping. Yeah, talk about rock placement, Mike. That is absolutely as, as good as what they have could have done there. Sweeping. Good job, Pat. Thanks. Normal? Normal. Yeah. You don't want to hit it too hard. Okay. It's a little surprising here, Joan, that he's trying to make this double. It looks like the double jam is lined up uh, all day. Normal. Yeah. I think the danger is hitting this too thinly. Regular, try to hit it Sending these stones on, and yeah. the only one that ends up going out of play is that stone at the back right, of the forefoot. Mark. It is possible to hit it thick enough though, however, and, and spin everything out and leave the stone at the back of the forefoot being shot stone, but very difficult. And as Mark just said to his front end, he wants to get as close to a nose as he can to draw out the scenario that you uh, just talked about. Mark Dacey, very comfortable throwing the big hit weight. Hard! 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 Really hard! hard. He just nudged that Yellowstone outside the rings. Even though it touched the guard, it still made contact with the stone hey. previously li delivered by Ryan. Now is there a chance for Ryan to get three? Just, just but he may, to make the yell, eh? he may have moved it enough so that the back red one is second shot. Well, that's you very Mark, close. Yeah, you saw Mark's reaction. I would guess that uh, by that looking at that, that he's not shot. but. There's a little that Pat can play here that would change his call, though. I think he just has to draw anyway and, and hope the measure goes his way. Draw the forefoot. Counting one for sure, maybe two. Yeah, put him to work, eh? Bob's talking about the officials putting, measure, them, putting him to work. <laughs> <laughs> putting the measures to work. Yeah, I think they're going to put a stick on the red at the back and the yellow at the top of the four depending, of course, on what Pat Ryan does here, but if those stones are not touched, they will measure. Now this is a different path for the sweepers to judge. Similar to the one they threw in the first end, though, so they should have a good idea of, of what it does. Again, listen for the call. Six means T-line. Well, careful. Five. Easy. 
Have a look. Five. Have a look. Five. Five's top four. All yours, foot. guys. It's all yours. I'm out. Hey! Going for hey! line here. That looks good. Hey! Oh, boy. Good one. Let's sweep it. Full four for two, for maybe two three. For sure. And BC is now back in this game. From the overhead camera, it does appear as though Red might have it. <coughs> it's very close. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> that's just what Mark close. Casey said. Yes, sir. Sorry, guys. I'm tight. Got into this man. Hasn't been going great. We keep these guys busy today, Major. Yeah, very, very money. close. <laughs> you see, they'll, they'll nestle up the, the stick to the, the rock, and there's a little <laughs> dial and a needle that'll show them how much has been hit. I'm going to go around again. Do it again. I agree with the players. That always that was always my little pet peeve. They just measure it once and <laughs> point. But, <laughs> but Bob, yeah, Bob Ursel asked him to do it again. Mark Daisy was quite happy with the result, but Bob Ursel <laughs> wanted the stick put on it again just to reconfirm. Yeah. And okay. the second measurement for Dice is the same result as the first. Two points for BC in a tie game through two. Curling. With every game played, your contact to the world expands. With over a million participants utilizing 1,100 clubs across the country, curling is an entertaining social way to stay active. Play for fun, play to win, or just come out and enjoy the membership benefits. Clubs can be assisted by the Canadian Curling Association's Development Fund, which serves to promote, renovate, and offer advice on operations. Get involved. Join a club near you today. It has lifetime value. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships are coming to Winnipeg April 5th through 13th. The big question is, which men's team will be wearing the colors of Team Canada? Well, we'll all find out on Sunday, but for now, call to reserve the best seat you can, because this promises to be the best Ford Worlds ever. This is where the world has fun. Call 1-888-780-SEAT. My name's David Mole. I'm from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, and I was a student here at the University of Glasgow. Scotland's great, the land, the people, the history, but you don't know how much you miss home until you're away from it. So my roommate James and I decided to create a little piece of Canada. We called our room Caribou House. In fact, it became known as the unofficial Canadian Embassy here on campus. But for some reason, it still didn't feel completely Canadian yet. So I wrote home to Tim Hortons for a little help. You know, there's some things that just say home. Introducing Advil Extra Strength for today's tough pain. I was born to get standing ovations. Now I dance to stay healthy. But when I've neglected my diet, I've depended on the science of Centrum daily for complete vitamin and mineral support. Centrum helps make my day complete. Welcome back to the Metro Center in Halifax. An aggressive start to this semi-final of the Nokia Briar. Back-to-back -back ends with measurements, and we're tied at two through two ends of play. Tomorrow, the final of the Nokia Briar moves to primetime television. CBC Sports coverage of the championship game begins at 6 Eastern, 7 Atlantic, as Randy Furby, the two-time defending champion from Alberta, awaits the winner of today's semifinal. Don?
Yes, Randy Furby, 11-0 in round robin play. And now with a 12-0 record as the result of his 8-2 uh, triumph last night over Pat Ryan. Four, four five. No, no, that's hold off. Watch four. it. Four. Watch it. Might. Yeah. Interesting Watch discussion it. between well, ends by the Ryan rink as to how they would play this third end, whether well, they go up front or go into the rings. They decided up, that uh, they would like to go up front. They they thought about coming into the what? rings. They didn't know whether Dacey's team would hit it or throw the corner guard. VC would like to uh, <laughs> mix it up a bit. 23-year-old Andrew Gibson, Bachelor of Commerce graduate from Dalhousie Three. University. Real. Close the line. Clean. Real. Close the line. Just clean. Yep. Hard line. Real. Hard line. Hard, 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 hard. Hard all the way. Hard all the way. Take it way back. Way hard. back. Right up. Eight foot, maybe. Right up. Right up. Well, he's off to a great start because through the first two ends, he made all of his shots and he makes another one here in the third. And he's got experience, a Andrew, playing in Canadian juniors as well. As I said, four, Mark Dacey, this is the, the no first year these four, four players have come together. Four, no he's really put together Lots, the best four, four, at each five. position that he could find. Oh. It better. It? No, no. Heavy. Lots. No, we're bumping off. To yeah. <laughs> okay. BC lead Shot, Kevin yeah, McKenzie time, eh? has also played in a couple Didn't of wait. juniors Freeze in off. Vernon in ah. 1992 as third for Scott McFadden and as skip in Truro in 1994 where he finished with a five whoa. and six record. Whoa! Same way. One's close. Clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well then. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Clean only. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard guys. Hard! 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 Right up! Oh! Great brushing. Nice shot. Great angle set up there. Well, the statistics are always interesting, oh, but the end result is who Even gets the most points. Not but bad. when you yeah. look at numbers and points scored with the hammers, Really, not much to choose. No, but the, uh, you look Nick at here. The 10, 11 points okay. points scored okay. with the hammer oh, advantage. Is a slight yeah. would indicate a slightly more aggressive style of play for Nova Scotia. But certainly, Wait. as we saw in in that uh, yeah. final round Six robin eight. game, the five one score uh, it was really low scoring. Pretty tight, but, Pat. But uh, you know, Pat's team is, is certainly as comfortable as as Nova Scotia is with uh, with, with all these stones out front. But uh, good end set up already for for Nova Scotia here as a result of. Of uh, Andrew Gibson's two perfect come arounds. Five, six. Hurry. Hard for line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Six. Hurry. Whoa. Whoa. Shooter. Shooter, Bob. Nice one. shot. Beauty. Well, one of the major differences right. in the last few years at Two the Briar is that again. now almost all teams are willing to mix it up and get rocks into play. Whereas, say, five, six, seven years ago, you only had a few teams that were willing to mix it up. Yep. Bob Hi. Harris, a former director Hi. of the Atlantic Tour, and he was saying Keep playing here at home Hi. couldn't be better. Hi. He's also on the Briar Executive Committee. Right up. <laughs> Big miss here. Those. Ooh, right through the hole. That picked out of his hand. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's a bad break. Uh, picked up a piece of debris right after Rob let it go. Can you take a look. They both go. Got a clean up here, right? Yeah, about 10 feet out of his hand. Can you see how much it's spinning, which is often an indication that it's picked up something in, on one side of the running surface and sends the rock uh, with way more rotation than what it was delivered with. Chance here for DC to remove both Three. red stones. Hey. Contact on half of that red stone oh. at the top hey. 12. Whoa. Come on. Well, Dean Horning will get rid of one that moves the other red to the back of the eight foot. 
BC lies two. He just didn't get the action he was hoping for on that one. He appeared to hit it about as well as he could have. And and I think Pat was anticipating a little bit more Control reaction wants, off that back stone. Yeah. But a little double opportunity here for Rob. Yep. Yep. And I'm sure the brushers were making yep. certain that there was no debris on the ice for this one. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So over whoa, curling yeah. marks, hoping this is going to hit and roll now. Suggestion, I think, there from Mark Daisy that maybe Rob Harris threw a little too much weight. Regular, clean, close, regular, close up a bit, close up, clean up, clean up, hey, oh, whoa, oh. hey, hey, hey. 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 Whoa. Whoa. whoa, 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 roll it, Gene, roll it, hard. BC again lies two. hit and roll behind that center guard. Clean. Hard. Real hard. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Hard. Hard. Real hard. 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 Right up. Right up. Right up. <laughs> Unable to save ball. the shooter. And BC still lies one. Regular. Pat taking no Straight chances here. here. Want to go around, eh? You want to go around? Huh? It's pretty tough for him to get that out and stick both. You don't want to go around, eh? Make the hit and roll. Probably kick them both that way. Okay, good. Hit and roll. to punch the red out and get a roll right, behind right. cover. There goes the red and a bit of a roll, Sit but down. the yellow will Good also job, slide to the back of the 12. But BC does lie too. Sure. Very important that that back yellow zone stayed in the ring so that BC will be, have a chance to force Nova Scotia into taking a single point here. Turn your light. Bruce Lonis looking for a here, didn't you, Rob? A hit and yeah, roll behind the center guard, trying to set up an opportunity. Third, Bruce Lonis, the former mayor of Stewiak. Whoa. Served two terms Whoa. there. Whoa! Whoa! Town Whoa. located uh, Whoa. not far Whoa. from the airport. Whoa. Here in Halifax. Whoa, off! Finish. And again, I thought he'd go for the thin one. his shooter rolls out. Is that where we were on those other ones? <laughs> well, they were throwing. He was coming around there, remember? Huh? I like that. Okay, front of the T line here, eh? Right there. Front of the T. Well, Pat's playing the intern come around into the top of the button and we've seen all week that when you make this shot nicely it's very difficult then to follow it down with a hack weight shot the rocks just don't seem to finish very well so a good draw here by Pat so Ryan nice will force me, Mark eh? Dacey almost to run this so center guard back yeah. it finishes huge on the draws but it just it's hard to get at these stones that are buried with hack weight all of Pat Ryan's shots thus far have been draws and this is another Needs to be in front of the T line. Good line. Clean. Five. Clean. 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 Whoa, whoa. Clean. Real, real, real. Five. Five. Clean. Five. Clean. Clean. Five. Clean. Good. Good line. Good line. Whoa. Real, real. They're crawling five, real. which is the top four, four foot. Four. Lots of room. Four foot. Anyway, 
Art, 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 art. Stayed open. Once again, not right. quite getting the, the finish. Hey, never finish. It's like kind of wait. Control. And we've heard that term control weight. For those not familiar with curling terminology, an explanation. A board or uh, control it's, weight. It's, there. it's a yeah. normal takeout weight that you might Double. use, but they usually bring it down just a step or two just so that the sweepers can have a little bit more ability to, to help you. Um, it's a relative term. But there is an opportunity for the double here. Mark Dacey is the head professional at Fox Harbor Resort Golf Digest. Named that golf course, oh, 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 oh. the best golf course, oh, oh. new golf oh, course in Canada oh. in 2001. Oh. Close. Whoa. Oh. Off. This off. has got to curl, off. Mike. Right off. Right off. <laughs> Stronger out. Well, Mark Dacey's father uh, has quite an interest in this game, hoping that well, Nova Scotia, for the first time since the playoff format was introduced, will be able to advance to the championship game. This leaves up Pat Ryan. Another chance to get around that guard again, the exact same shot that he's just thrown. Same spot this time wouldn't be too bad, actually. Jono would force Mark to the outturn side for the draw and really change things up. And we talked to Pat Ryan when Don talked to him before the game about perhaps his redstones yesterday that he used in the one two page playoff game. He chose rocks that had a lot of movement in them. He's changed rocks for this game, choosing a different set, and we haven't really seen them curl very much so far. Good line. Four, five. Room. Whoa, whoa. Room. Oh, Room. Clean. Art. Good line. Hooray. Good line. Room. Room. Art. 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 Hey. Hey. Right here. Right here. Great line. Hooray. 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 Art. 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 Beautiful shot. Great. Nicely done. Well brushed. Good sweeping, missed the guard by again a good inch and a half, and you see it easily gets it buried into the top of the button. And again, the difficulty with this ice, with the late finish, there's really no way to make a play on this. They have to play the straight draw now to the side of the button. And realistically, it looks, it's gonna be very difficult for Mark to get shot rock here. We talked about the fact that Nova Scotia was only able to steal four ends during round robin competition. They also gave up 10 steals. And the prospect of a steal faces Mark Dacey as he delivers his final stone of this third end. Just want to hold it out there. Line's, good. Line. Line's real good. Clean it. Yeah, keep it out there, Rob. You can. Line's good. It's getting tighter. Hard. T line. Hard for line. Finally. Okay, line's clean. good. Yep. Hard line. T line. Line's good. He needs Whoa, a good piece Whoa. of the button. Whoa. 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 What a touch. But has he got it? What's up, boys? Are we going to have a third measurement? No. No. It's there. Great shot. Perfect line, perfect weight. And great judgment by the sweepers so with a single point on three Nova Scotia has the lead
This is when most stay indoors. This is when most cover up. And this is when some come out to play. The Nokia 7210 phone with available camera headset. The new pocket translator. We make multimedia messaging as easy as see, snap, and send. Nokia, connecting people. Up here, just about everything seems larger than life. The prairie, the sky, <laughs> even our animals. And when someone comes by our true value with a problem, large or small, they know they've come to the right place. True Value, official hardware supplier to Championship Curling. It's a job with a difference. You're part of a team. You're getting hands-on experience. Sure, there are easier jobs, but with us, you see the world. You make a difference. The Navy. Think about it. Maybe this is the challenge you're looking for. Strong, proud. Today's Canadian Forces. A message from the Government of Canada. Back in Halifax, the home team with a 3-2 lead over BC through three ends of this semi-final of the Nokia Briar. And this was the scene just moments ago as CCA President Maureen Miller presented the 2003 National Curling Club Volunteer of the Year Award to Ellery Robichaux of Moncton. Relying on his background in debt restructuring, Mr. Robichaux found a way to save his club from closure. He came up with a plan for members to buy back the club from the bank. And while dealing with that financial problem, he also led a membership drive that increased the numbers from 70 to 230 at the Beauchesure Club in Moncton. So congratulations to Ellery Robichaux, the Volunteer of the Year, Don. I wonder if he's got any solutions for stock market problems. <laughs> <laughs> what a tremendous story, though. A nice award. Basically, he saved the club in Moncton, and hand? our congratulations go out to him. Boy, what a precise curling shot we just saw from Mark Dacey. He had no more than maybe a couple of inches to work with. Yep. It was not only a weight issue, it was a line issue as well, and uh, you know, certainly great judging by the sweepers, and uh, as a skip, I'll say Mark threw it perfectly, but uh, certainly the sweepers had uh, had a lot to do with it. And, and, uh, just before and they're sweeping yeah. putting hairs on it obviously should, should boost the confidence of team nova scotia they uh, they've won a couple of measures and making that one they've really had a couple of things go their way early in this game so hopefully they'll build on that nova scotia team just Here's discussing okay. uh, perhaps Here's another Here's pick uh, rock catching a debris from andrew gibson so i think sure, that yeah, maybe yeah, a, an bad. issue today we've seen a, them two, discussing perhaps rocks catching some debris they're going to have to be very two careful more. to keep it clean the path of the stone very Boy, Boy. you know the way this game is going Still, but. with draws on every end 73 minutes of time the time clock as they get down to the latter stages could be a factor although I'm quite sure both sides, uh, somewhere, maybe the sixth or seventh end, will just go bang, bang, bang to try and speed things up. Well, BC is down to 48 minutes already. That means they've used 25 minutes in the first three ends, and that's above the average. They need to average about seven and a half minutes, and they're, they're eight plus right now, so they'll need to pick up the pace a little bit. But as long as they're aware of it, that's the main thing, and you can save time between shots. Teams are so experienced. Uh, these days playing with the time clocks that they, they know they've been in these situations before where they've been tight on time and they can play hurry up curling if they need to. Oh. Hurry. Whoa. 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 Nice job, Mac. 
Kevin McKenzie delivering the double for Pat Ryan and his BC team. This is how the leads compare. Andrew Gibson still perfect through three ends. And as it appears, Andrew saving his best games for the end of the week. He's a little bit up and down oh. earlier Will on in round robin. Yeah, hurt, hard, hard. As we go through the stats, uh, you're going to see all the way. with Team Nova Scotia that, that all like of you know. them were tenth or eleventh. Sorry, Bob, my fault. Throughout the round robin, and uh, it's, it's actually quite a credit. They they do play in a very aggressive style of game, but for them to be here into the final three teams with with stats like that is is quite incredible, actually. Well, as we said earlier, since the playoff system was introduced in 1980. The Nova Scotia team has never made it to a semifinal. Five, six. Five, six. Well then. No. No. Seven. Clean. 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 Hey. 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 Clean. Oh. At the end. Coming out yeah. the other side. Nice keep going, keep going, keep going. Keeping in front of the T line. Let's compare the seconds. Dean Horning and Rob Harris. Horning with the advantage, and Harris's numbers suffered as the result of a pick in the previous end. Rob Harris, it's a very busy yeah. curler as well as a volunteer Whoa. with curling. His brother, Matthew Please. Harris, Please. is the chair yeah, yeah. of this year's Briar Committee. Yeah. Rob had some duties up until qualifying yeah. and then resigned his position. Need to go to keep this straight enough to get shot rock. Over curling just a little. Rob also worked uh, with the 95 Briar Committee, he was in charge of the Briar Patch. It's a good thing he isn't in charge this year. He, he had to evict a couple yep. of my partners. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Rob's brother, Graham, who is also one of the vice presidents in the organizing committee. As I said, his other brother, Matthew, is the chair. And he said there's several uh, nieces and nephews that are all working. He said uh, every time you, you look around, you'll find a Harris working here at the, at the Briar and Halifax. I fit right in out here. This is good. Seven? <laughs> yeah, seven's good. All the six. All the six. Right here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot. Nice shot. Boy, Dean. Plus left. Nice opportunity here for BC. They've got a nice clean end going. They're lying too well spread out. And as long as they can maintain the separation on these stones, Nova Scotia is going to, it's appearing like they're going to give up an easy two points here to BC. Yep, off. hard! Great right off. Hard! Off. Hard! 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 <laughs> hard! Right up! <laughs> Sweet, guys. Lonis with a roll to the edge of the button. DC trailing by a point with last rock yeah. advantage here on N4. And a chance to lie, too, with this attempted takeout by... Bob Ersel. Clean. House. Bumper up. Bumper up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. Yep. Hurry. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hurry. Hey. 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 Roll, Kevin. Hey. 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 Clean. Clean. Those. At third position, Nose. Ursel has the edge on Bruce Lonas. 88 to 71 percent through three ends. Clean. Yep. Mark Dacey oh. looking for a oh. nose hit Clean. from Bruce. Yep. Yep. Hoping to set up for about Hard. three stones from Hard. now where he may have a chance for a double. Hard. Hard. All the way, never stops. <laughs> if play continues as such. You talked, Joan, about the involvement of Rob Harris in various Briar committees. Well, Bruce Lonas has also been very active in curling in Nova Scotia. He's the first vice president of the Truro Curling Club and is a level four CCA official. 
Pat Ryan asking for a hit and roll away right. here. If uh, Bob right. Russell does nose hit this Quiet. stone, there will be a chance for a double takeout right. for right. Mark Dacey. Right. Yeah, and they know it too. It's a little softer weight thrown by Bob Ursel. And see Mark wasting no time in getting up there. This is Mark right. Dacey's strength. Oh, the big, heavy takeout weight. weight. And if you watch Mark Dacey and how he delivers this stone, I want you to watch how big his backswing is when he's throwing a All big right, weight somewhere. takeout. Very flat. You need to hit about three quarters to seven eighths of the stone and have a roll across the range. He only needs to nudge it about four or five inches. To lie shot rock. <coughs> or to lie two actually behind that corner guard. Well, he takes yep. the rock back and <laughs> yeah. up, but not nearly as high yeah. as Bob Peavy Pickering, a former <laughs> Saskatchewan champion. Hard, right up. Hard. He makes the double. Makes it easily. Great shot. Yeah, you could almost see him smacking his lips when Bob Ursel got the nose hit. Well swept. Sees about three quarters of stone made contact and easily, easily goes out. Bruce pretended he was going to sweep that one, but realized it was above the tee line. <laughs> I think he forgot that it, <laughs> that it couldn't. Yeah. Got a little Angle excited. Freeze. Yeah. No, get to the nose, we got to bump it, but yeah, I don't know. Tough to get to the nose though, unless you squeak that red one. So Nova Scotia not out of trouble yet. It, it, Pat Ryan makes the the perfect freeze on this. He still will be set up for his two points. Certainly yeah, looking Ryan a lot continues. better than it was line, a moment ago. Go. Sorry, Mike. Ryan continues to play nothing but draws. That room. That room. Room. Have a look. Go, 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 go. All right. Good line. Line's good. Room. Good line. Room, Have guys. Look. Have a look. Have a look. Great Hit sweeping. Shot. At the end. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sweeping, guys. Good wait, Pat. Yeah, just go. Ryan with a again. percentage advantage on Mark Dacey. Cross it a bit with firm. Yep. And it's uh, interesting to, to look at the numbers for Pat Ryan because uh, he had games well into the 90s and then his next game would be low 70s. 90s, low 70s, firm. kind of going up and down a little bit, still averaged out. Fairly good. Firm, week. try to cross it a bit or nose it. Yep. Once again, not quite getting the, the curl that he was looking for out of that Yellowstone. Yeah, Pat actually curled the highest game of the week at Skip, curling 98%. Let's go, bud. Yeah. In his game against Newfoundland, a must-win game for BC at the time. Yeah, as Brad Gushu of Newfoundland off to such a good what? start oh, in the latter stages please. of the week, oh, he oh, stumbled oh, and just oh. missed a playoff Freedom. position, the former Freedom. Canadian and World Junior Champion. Hard, Bruce. Hard. Yeah. Now the Yellowstone, despite making contact with the red, is going to go up the back. Mark got away with one a little bit there with uh, the big weight saved him. Hit it uh, higher than he would have liked. <laughs> Scary. I didn't see Pat's indication here. I mean, then the ice could be for either shot. We'll have to wait until he lets go to see what he's playing. <coughs> that weight probably be okay on this spot, eh? Pardon me? That weight. Are you drawn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's drawn, Dean. Now you know. Now uh, we know. Apparently his front end didn't know what he killed either. <laughs> yeah, it's the same, same draw he threw two ends ago. Well, uncharacteristically, Pat really struggled with his hit game yesterday in the 1-2 game against Randy Furby, hitting and rolling out several times in that game, and and uh, perhaps he's uh, made a conscious decision to play a few more draws today. Five. That's good. Certainly he's been all over the four Clean. Just, just Even the draw he missed was, was oh, full four. Oh, back wow, four. Wow, wow. This needs to sit. 
Kevin McKenzie backing off on it, and now as the rock slides through the four, will it stop in time? It's going to be very close. Certainly it, looks like yellow. It looks like yellow. Yes, it is. It dug in just in time, and this game again is all even through four. Everybody takes pride in something different. For the Shriners, it's their network of 22 hospitals for children located throughout North America. For over 80 years, the Shriners have provided world-class orthopedic and burn medical care for kids. There's a Shriners hospital helping kids from this area. If you know a child they could help, please call for more information. Shriners, giving help and hope to kids for over 80 years. In 1989, Saskatoon set a new standard for the Canadian Men's Curling Championship. In 2000, it was Saskatoon once again and a new attendance record that still stands today. Next March, Saskatoon shines once more with Nokia Briar 2004. This is the big one, the 75th, when we open the doors to our house, Canada's party. Ticket packages are already selling at an amazing rate. Get yours now and come celebrate 75 shining years. Ah, Nova Scotia, an unforgettable place where saltwater cities, living history, and legendary hospitality meet. A place with 7,400 kilometers of coastline dotted with charming seaside towns. A place that really swings. More than just a vacation, this is Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Contact us today for your free vacation guide. Canadian Curling Association appreciates, understands, and wishes to acknowledge the importance of local sponsorship to curling teams across Canada throughout the curling season. In an effort to recognize local corporate support of teams which have achieved the privilege of representing their province or territory at a Canadian Curling Championship, we are pleased to provide some deserving profile to their respective corporate supporter. Make sure your pictures last for generations. Is Sarah there? Make sure the paper says Kodak. Show her what you look like. Kodak paper has advanced technology. Told you. Identical. Technology that resists fading and keeps your pictures brilliant for generations. Share the moments, share the life. Find Kodak paper at these fine retailers. Another gorgeous vista along the Halifax shoreline as we continue semi-final Saturday at the Nokia Briner and through four ends we're all tied at three. A reminder that tonight on Hockey Night in Canada, the Northeast Division leading Vancouver Canucks are in Toronto to play the Maple Leafs as Owen Nolan makes his start as a new Leaf. And in game two of the doubleheader, that features the Montreal Canadiens going west to the coast against the LA Kings, all coming up tonight on Hockey Night in Canada. Well, Mike Harris has a little tint in his hair, not quite as dramatic a hairstyle as Brian McCabe. <laughs> Although Joan McCusker <laughs> did offer to make some changes. <laughs> Anytime I can be your hairdresser. An interesting exchange among members of the BC team during the break, as Bob Ursel said to Pat Ryan, Pat, you've got to We've got to communicate just a little better. You've got to let me know about the weight, uh, particularly on that draw attempt. Well, and it was not only that, but Bob's hit, too, that set up the double for Mark Casey. Bob didn't realize that if he did nose hit that stone at the top four foot, he would leave a double for Mark. It would have been better for Bob to roll out, actually, because those two stones behind the corner guard were gone, and there was no access to them for Mark Dacey, So. And sometimes um, that those kind of exchanges are, are a little bit of frustration. They had a great end set up to get their deuce, and and it uh, turned out that they were forced to their one. So sometimes you just need to kind of get Lee. some of that stuff out so you can run. Well, there's Whoa. so much on the line Whoa. in this game because Whoa. an Olympic Whoa. trials Whoa. berth awaits the winner Whoa. because You're Randy right. Furby Whoa. has already claimed a position uh, in the uh, Olympic uh, trials. They also get a shot oh, at the 2003 Continental Cup, November 27th to 30th in Thunder Bay. And they get a berth in the Canada Cup.
to be held January 6th to 11th of 2004 in Kamloops. A tremendous amount on the line. Uh, and not that these players need any more motivation to play their best today. They want to make it to that Briar final tomorrow. Four. Here. Ground. Be here. Wait, 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 wait. Got room still. No, Bob. Be here, though. Come on. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. More yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, shot, Mac. All right, that's good. Same shot. Well, Joan talked about motivation. I asked 47-year-old Pat Ryan playing in his 10th Briar what motivates him, and he said to see the guys lift up the Briar tank. What a team builder this man is. Uh, played with lead Kevin McKenzie and second Dean Horning last year in the Briar. Brought on Bob Ursel and is motivated to bring a championship to those players as much as to himself. Well, it's way out. Short's okay. Short's okay. No line at all. Short's okay. No line at all. Just wait for the absolute very end. Right off. Right off. Yep. 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 Higher. Hard. Higher. Hard. Hard. Finish it. Hard. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, ten times Four. Pat Ryan has now participated Four. in a briar. Oh, He's won it three times, 1988 and 89, back-to-back -back champions with Randy Furby as his third man. And then in 94, he threw third stones for Rick Folk, representing British Columbia. The briar that everyone thought he had won was 1985 in Moncton. Then he was leading playing the 10th end, and Al Hackner made the incredible double to get a deuce to tie it. And then Hackner won it on the extra end after Ryan had gone through round robin play unbeaten. Oh, 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 oh. Good, rock. <clears throat> Good one. Well, certainly Pat's place in history is is very secure. You have a three-time Canadian champion and going for that record fourth, record tying fourth title that uh, his his best friend Randy Furby already has uh, accomplished. And how it like angles up a bit. nothing better than to be facing his his old friend and teammate in the final. T-line wait. But I'm sure Mark Dace has got a little bit to say about that yeah, before we get there. We're seeing early in this end all the, the rocks in play. A jockeying for position right now. Jiggling rocks around. All played with with uh, T-line or top Whoa. house weight. Whoa! 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 Yep! Whoa! Yep! 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 Real hard! 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 Yep! Hard. 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 Just straighten that zone up ever so slightly. It worked out not too badly. That's great brushing yeah, to, to get it by the guard at all. See how close they came. Actually oh, rubbing them. and straightening out the rock. There actually might be a triple here. Nice swing, guys. Yeah, it's it's Pat looking for a moment to see if he actually knows one? hits this, okay. whether this stone will actually make contact. Overhead, please. Sending yeah, these I out. I think we lose ours, Mac, and he's still sitting one. <coughs> oh, hard. Get off. Not for us. Pat really Ryan hard. just checking Feel. the angle again. Feel, Pat. Feel? Yeah, looks like it. Dean Horning did play third for Ryan last year. Has moved down to second this year to make room for Bob Ursel. Hey! 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 Red onto red, and they just right. missed the stone the at the back. <laughs> what was that? He thought he hit it just the way he was my supposed fault. to. I hear Pat say, my fault. He thought it was there. And Obviously, the angles just get changed ever so slightly. Yep. Now, Mark Daisy looking for the red onto yellow. Raise. Hack weight yep, he's asked hard. for. Line's pretty good. Yep, hard! Yep! Hard! Hard! <laughs> yep! Brushing Whoa. to get it past Whoa. the guard. Whoa. They'll keep it on line. Yeah. 
Get up! Nova Scotia lies too. Just ever so slightly overswept there. They could have let that curl just a hair more. But hair more right? yeah. I think they were concerned, though, it was going to bend onto the guard. Again, those are the difficult shots to play, the, the softer weight hits, because you have to anticipate when they'll run straight and when they'll curl. A double here, Mike. Yeah, they're trying it. Clean. Hurry. Up. Up. House. Hurry. She looks like they're playing Clean. a quieter whoa, 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 weight hit and just trying to nose hit that whoa, redstone. Whoa. Nose or a little roll to the, to the wing. All right. Trying to control the top of the rings. Come on, it's too steep. Control. Try roll behind this one. Well, there are occasions when teams will have difficulties, but when you give teams good ice conditions, good playing conditions, you usually see some unbelievable oh, curling, and uh, yep. we have yeah, British Columbia 88 percent, Nova Scotia 84 percent at this stage of this semifinal yep. game. Whoa! Yep! Whoa! 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 This looks good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nicely done. Is there an angle there, the red outside the rings onto the two in the house? More likely the yellow onto the reds here. If you watch this zone come into the rings, the, the yellow that it rolls behind here, if you see it's about half exposed and there is an angle, hit that yellow stone, hit what you can see, you'll more than likely get rid of at least one of those red stones, maybe both. Just wants to see how much Bob Ursel can see from the hack when you put the broom down like that. As you said, Mike, that's exactly what they're playing. Hey! 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 He did touch the guard and still Boy. got made contact with the one at the top of the eight foot. <laughs> well, that was great brushing <laughs> to remove, to, to get one of those shots out. Incredible yeah, to get that, actually to touch oh. it. You touch it with your I think that's the third time. So what happened to it? <laughs> Watch the replay. And they were just yeah. talking about whether one, happened to it? one of the sweepers touched one of Kevin the rocks with his broom. broom. Kevin's broom. Oh. Touched it with a touched touched the, the stationary the stone. Before they hit, but I don't, I don't know if it I don't know where it went. It hit well, the, uh, his broom hit the number one rock. Why don't you go up before they made contact, before the shooter actually hit it, oh, yeah. I, I and no changed idea. how you would have hit it. Take a look and watch Kevin. Watch. watch his broom right here. See, he moves it forward about an inch or so. Don't think it would have changed it though. I'm not sure whether he moved that stone at all. He might have touched it, it with his brush. I think it's fine. If you're okay Thanks. with it. All right. Thanks, Mark. That's a very nice exchange. Okay, um, you know, recognizing that. A stationary rock had been touched before it made contact. Those are the worst to try to, to decide how right. the rocks four, might have reacted. Four, four. But I think the For call me? on Mark was was very mature, very, very uh, sportsmanlike. Uh, sportsmanlike to say, you know what, it didn't really make that much difference. And that's one of the beauties of this game. At times there can be some intense competition, but room. Room. Whoa. sportsmanship Whoa. Whoa for line. very Rob. often will Rob. come Rob. to the fore, such as we just saw. Room. It really Whoa wasn't going to have no any impact on what happened. No line at all. Off. Off. It, it is up to Off. the, the non-offending team Rand. to make that call. Off eight plus. Wing. No, no, no. Top no. Eight. Off. Off. Get ready. Yep. Make sure this is Whoa. in front of the tee line again. It. Yep. Hard. Hard. Great hard, touch. Hard, hard, hard. Great touch. Well done. Hard, nice shot, Mercy. Now let's join Mark Lee. Right, Don, coming up at the fifth end break of today's semifinal, we'll hear from the only living member of the last team from Nova Scotia to win the Briar. It's been more than 50 years. Brenda Irving will drop by with a preview of the final weekend of the Canada Winter Games. And, of course, you'll have analysis at the break. Yes, 1951, Don Euler skipped his Nova Scotia team to only the second Briar Championship for this province. Where's our clock? Uh, where it usually is. About halfway. <laughs> Pat Ryan asking about the time. They're at 37 minutes. 
Left. Out. Whoa. Whoa. Out. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Clean. Whoa. 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 Something different for Pat, Pop. a takeout. And he threw it different Ow. as well. When Pat throws Ow. takeouts, he throws what many curlers would call a backwards handle. Um, when he throws a draw, he'll throw the normal out turn and in turn. <laughs> You take a look. He's throwing the turn and letting go of the back of the handle first. Always does that with hits. Not Good with draws, though. So throws his draws like the majority no. of curlers. Would do. Now, he was looking for a little roll here. Mike didn't get the finish. What are you throwing at? Board. I like that. And Mark Dacey would like to roll in behind to force. You see into a difficult decision. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Still playing? Yep. Playing. Yep. yep. Hard. 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 Wow. Mark Dacey has had the touch all day. Oh boy. Oh, that too much. Great roll here. You know you're close when they're calling yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Doesn't want to roll too far to leave a double on the two reds, and uh, but had to get buried so they didn't leave Pat Ryan an opportunity to play Boy, that catch roll. a piece of that back one. Pat Ryan went out to center ice to see how much he could see of the top red stone past the guard. Two decisions, Brad. You can either try the double, and it's you can only see maybe a quarter of that stone from the front, or you can run the yellow. Pat Ryan is is known among the top competitive curlers as perhaps the best ever at hitting portions of stones behind guards, and he just throws it so precisely. But as we said throughout the week, this is the one thing uncharacteristically he has struggled with a little bit, but. Very difficult double takeout here for Pat. Well, Pat received quite a compliment <coughs> from Randy Furby, his friend and former teammate, and perhaps an opponent tomorrow. When Furby earlier in the week said that Pat Ryan may be the best curler he's ever seen, he's but there's a kid I'm curling with who might replace him. There's Pat's wife, Marine. Big shot here for Pat Ryan. Needs to remove at least one redstone, at least one. Can only see a portion of the red rock, a familiar pose down on the ice. Watching the progress of this rock. He's got one of them for sure. And that's all he'll get is one. Tough shot. That was a, a, a good result there for Pat. And he would have loved the double. We almost have to make it by mistake. He would have just had to hair the guard. But, you know, you, ha you can't play that too cute. Can't play it too close to the, the guard and, and accidentally rub the guard and give up three. So well, we off, playing that a little safe. Good throw. Thanks. 70, 75. This is one of these seemingly easy draws from out for Mark Dacey, mm. but just critical to go into the fifth end break with a two-point lead. It's a big, big boost for this Nova Scotia team. Dacey needs full eight foot. Let's go, Mark. <laughs> yep. Remember the shot he played back on N3 where he put it onto the button. He only had about two inches to work with, and he put it right there to cut out the BC stone. Never leave it, guys. This is the first draw okay. we've seen in this path all game. Never leave this it. This wide outturn side. Most of this plays on the other it. side of the sheet. Come on, all you it got. requires some help. Three brushes frantically oh working God. on it. Oh, you got! Oh! They've given up. Nice place. 
I don't well, you really wonder when a guy can there. put it right on the get? button within. Uh, <laughs> Jesus good. Christ. About a two inch area and then had a Sorry, draw to the full yeah. eight. Man. But he had to go out wider. It was a different turn that we played the entire game. The entire games were played on the other side of the sheet. So it was a bit of a surprise. Hey. So a break for BC and an unfortunate turn of events for Mark Dacey and his Nova Scotia team. They lead by one. Let's join Mark Lee. Thanks, Don. Mark, a tremendous shooting here in the first five ends. I know that was a tough one for you to watch come up just a little short, but uh, how are you putting Pat Ryan into difficult situations and decisions here today? Uh, we're just trying to, you know, play aggressive and execute and, uh, you know, make them play tough shots. And, you know, we've been doing that. Um, you know, i got to finish off for opportunities, but hopefully there'll be more as the second half of the game goes. You look awfully motivated here. Uh, I know the only living member of the last Nova Scotia team to win it more than 50 years ago, Fred Dyke, is watching. Is that motivation enough here on home ice? Oh, there's plenty of motivation, any extra helps, but um, uh, sure, I mean, if there's something else out there that can actually, uh, help us drive a little harder, we'll be happy to take it. Mark, great game. Keep it going. Thanks, Mark. Mark Dacey of Nova Scotia with a 4-3 lead over Pat Ryan of British Columbia through five ends of play here on semi-final Saturday at the Briar. It's bred for European tastes, but built for North American desires. With a seductive, ergonomic design, provocative performance, responsive power, sexy, low-profile wheels, eye-popping curve view, and superb handling in tight corners, not to mention driveways, decks, and even those silly motor cars. The Karcher high-pressure washer. You really have no options. love working the dogs together. It's fun to watch the young pups as they come up in the family. And it's great to be part of the True Value family. Our customers know they can count on us for good sense, good service, and doggone good value. True Value, official hardware supplier to championship curling. With its new Power Stroke diesel and five-speed automatic torque shift transmission, the Ford F-Series Super Duty pulls faster and easier than any other diesel pickup. Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck on the planet. Well, I guess that settles that. Yep. Built Ford Tough. Introducing Advil Extra Strength for today's tough pain. I've always been a hands-on kind of guy. Now I keep busy to stay healthy. But when I've neglected my diet, I've depended on the science of Centrum daily for complete vitamin and mineral support. Centrum helps make my day complete. at the Metro Center in Halifax at the fifth end break of the Nokia Briar semifinal. And it's Dacey up by one over Ryan after five ends of play. Well, Nova Scotia has reveled the last years uh, in Colleen Jones' three consecutive Scott titles. This province won the national mixed one year ago. But when it comes to the Briar, Nova Scotia, which is the first province ever to win this coveted championship, has been starved for victory. And now they're oh so close. As skip of the host team, Nova Scotia's Mark Dacey has braved a week of high expectations under the cross of St. Andrews. We treated this week like uh, an opportunity of a lifetime and we just wanted to, you know, play our very best and leave everything out on the ice. And, you know, if it doesn't really pan out for us, we want to think that at least we, you know, we didn't hold anything back. Nova Scotia, with its ties to Curling's old country, has a proud, albeit aged, history of success at the Briar. They won the very first tankard in 1927. Nova Scotia prevailed in 1951, the first Briar held in Halifax, but they haven't won since. 80-year-old Fred Dyke is the only surviving member of that team that was underrated. The uh, Winnipeg Free Press listed the teams the way they picked they would wind up, and down to the bottom, they had Nova Scotia 
that's Nova Scotia gracious hosts. So they didn't give us too much of a hope of winning anything. But the Nova Scotians went unbeaten that year in a corn broom sweep. It was jammed once Nova Scotia got on the winning track and the place was just, we were hanging in the rafters. I can remember the premier Angus McDonald, which our bridge is named after, coming up to the hotel room and said, boys, don't let up. Fred Dyke and his mates never curled competitively again after that victory. Nova Scotia hasn't won since, a drought that has dragged on for a half century. It's a tough thing, you know, to, to wonder why this province hasn't won in so long. And it's not even just winning it, putting a team in the final or in the semifinal, they haven't been able to do. There's, there's a, a good talent pool here, and so there just isn't quite as many to, to pick and choose from. So Fred Dyke remains vigilant in this era of Randy Furby, waiting for a new team from Nova Scotia to take his place of honor. So Mark Dacey, a golf pro from Saskatchewan, carries the hopes of Nova Scotia. And if you'd like to hear more about this story, Fred Dyke is featured in a special interview tomorrow on the Inside Track on CBC Radio. Coming up next, it's the conclusion of the Canada Winter Games. And with a preview, here's Brenda Irving. Looks like he threw outside. Well, Mark, Hamilton, New Brunswick is about a six-hour drive north of Halifax. That's where we are now getting ready for the start of the closing ceremony of the 2003 Canada Winter Games. As you can see, this torch is still burning after 14 days of competition, and it has been an incredible couple of weeks on the north shore of New Brunswick. More than 3,000 athletes from all across this country were here competing in 21 different events. Now, for some of these athletes, this was the pinnacle of their athletic career, while for others, it was merely a stepping stone to future national and international competitions. Well, Bruce Rainey, Kim Dion, Joe Motiki, and myself will be back a little bit later with the closing ceremony. But now, let's head back to Halifax and the Briar. Right, Brenda, it's been a tremendous uh, two weeks of sporting competition up in Bathurst and Camelden, New Brunswick, as it all comes to a conclusion this afternoon. Here at the fifth end break in Halifax, it's 4-3 Nova Scotia through five. It's a job with a difference. You're part of a team. Getting hands-on experience. There are easier jobs, but with us, you see the world. You make a difference. The Navy. Think about it. Maybe this is the challenge you're looking for. Strong. Proud. Today's Canadian Forces. A message from the Government of Canada. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships are coming to Winnipeg April 5th through 13th. The big question is, which men's team will be wearing the colors of Team Canada? Well, we'll all find out on Sunday, but for now, call to reserve the best seat you can, because this promises to be the best Ford Worlds ever. This is where the world has fun. Call 1-888-780-SEAT. Ah, Nova Scotia. An unforgettable place where saltwater cities, living history, and legendary hospitality meet. A place with 7,400 kilometers of coastline dotted with charming seaside towns. A place that really swings. More than just a vacation, this is Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Contact us today for your free vacation guide. Did you let the dog out this morning? Scott Towels, getting you out of big messes. Richard, Karen says you're dumped. It's over. Scotties, be soft. Be strong. Welcome back to semi-final Saturday at the Nokia Briar in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's been a tremendous week of competition as we hit the final weekend. And here inside the Metro Center, they're enjoying the fifth end break. The home team is leading four to three. As we check the scoring recap through the first five ends, in the first it was 
Dacey of Nova Scotia with a steal of two. In the second, Pat Ryan back with a deuce to tie it for BC. The third, Dacey drawing right to the button for one. In the fourth, Ryan drawing back for one to tie it. And in the fifth, Dacey moving up by one. And that's where the score stands. 4-3 Nova Scotia through five ends. As we go to the booth and their analysis, Don, Joan, and Mike. Thank you, Mark. Well, we have seen some great shot making through the first five ends. There have been three critical draws, Joan. Two of them missed, one made, and it began in the first end with the last rock by Pat Ryan. Well, I think it was a surprise with Pat Ryan. He drew the same draw at the first draw, made it perfect. Sweepers on this one all the way to the first hog line, overswept it, came heavy, and a steal of two looked huge early on in the game. Draws don't get any better than on the third end, final stone by Mark Dacey. No, and this was not only difficult because of the having to draw to the side of the bump, but the line was also an issue. But icing here have been great all week, and uh, they took full advantage. That stone came in, and I didn't think it was possible to get to the side of the button, but he certainly did. And But I think Mark uh, went into a fresh path here in five, and... You know, this this miss was just as critical as Pat Ryan's miss in the in the first end in terms of momentum. It just this Mark's gonna may may regret that one later into the game. Well, that was a miss point uh, where the opportunity was there. What type of play will we see over the next five? Well, it's been so exciting with rocks in play. You know, BC is gonna go after their deuce again and try to capitalize on that mistake that Mark just made. Everybody's gonna have lots of rocks in play and they're gonna have to make their last ones. Four three Nova Scotia leads. Let's join Mark Lee. Of an exciting first five ends of this semifinal. When we come back to the Metro Center here in Halifax, we'll talk to BC's Pat Ryan. The Nokia 7210 phone with available camera headset. The new pocket translator. We make multimedia messaging as easy as see, snap, and send. Nokia, connecting people. The world's largest hotel chain is almost anywhere you want to go. The world's largest hotel chain tucks you in around the globe. With over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, the world's largest hotel chain is Best Western. Inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Call 1-800-WESTERN or visit bestwestern.com. Okay, guys, get this bird put away and we're done for the day. With a new available Power Stroke Diesel, five-speed automatic torque shift transmission, and the most torque and horsepower of any diesel pickup, F-Series Super Duty goes way beyond just getting the job done. F-Series, the best-selling truck on the planet, is built Ford Tough. Canada's Country Gentleman is back. Talk about the good times. Talk about the good times. I'm going to With his special guests, Cynthia Dale, yeah, the Wilkinsons, show favorites Donna and Leroy, and much more. Remembering good times. Wonder. And good old tunes. Tommy Hunter, talk about the good times. Sunday, March 16th on CBC. Back at the Halifax Metro Center, just in advance of the sixth end of this Nokia Briar semifinal, 4-3 lead for Nova Scotia over BC, and here's the BC skip, Pat Ryan. Pat, uh, have you made a conscious decision to throw more draws uh, today after your, your patented takeouts uh, abandoned you last night? <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's what the game presents me with. Um, it's, it, I've been forced to play draws uh, the whole way. I, I, I wouldn't have had any other option. Um, it has nothing to do with last night. And, I wouldn't mind throwing a hit now. <laughs> it's a little yeah. easier sometimes. We overheard you and Bob uh, talking about communication uh, and trying to make sure that the, the lines keep open. How important is that? Well, it is, uh, especially if the guys from the other end, they, don't, they aren't quite aware of the circumstance of the rocks and the angles that are down there. And the one he was referring to was, uh, he could have rolled out on it, it would have been fine, but he, he was uh, trying to make sure he stayed. And But what he did was he set up a double. 
Um, had he known he could roll out, then he would have been deliberate about being full on the rock, and then we could have played with it. So it's uh, it's true, but it's pretty hard to yell down, that, you know, from one end to the other and have a long conversation. So I'll have to just make it a little more uh, conscious uh, decision to communicate more. Pat, great game so far. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Okay, thanks, Chris. Pat Ryan of BC, done. All right, Mark, and uh, this is how the skips Pat Ryan and Mark Dacey compare. 88% for Pat Ryan, 78% for Mark Dacey, and uh, I'm sure Mark Dacey is thinking to himself, I hope I don't regret my missed draw on end number five when he almost had a freebie for a second point. Uh, well, well, after making such, a, such an exact yeah, draw on this third like end, <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's, it's uh, disheartening when you, when you just need the eight foot. Um, but, you know, I, I guess it's the same point of view for Pat Ryan. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt me. The steal of two in the first end as well. I think you put right. that right out of your mind. It's a very close game. You know oh. opportunities will present themselves with some good shots made by your team. 4-3 Nova Scotia leads as Andrew Gibson starts off end number six. six. Let it bend. Between the ice, so it might be Let it bend. <coughs> The winner of this game goes on to play Randy off, off, off. Furby tomorrow here at the Halifax Metro Center. The game begins at 6 Eastern time. Okay. And there's a mistake by Andrew. Coming in deep. And he's made very few through five ends, 98% for Gibson. Did that catch something? I felt funny. Uh, Suggestion that perhaps this one picked up something on its way down the ice. Seems to be carrying along pretty well right now, though. So, whatever it did have, it seems to have. A little bit at the end. Lost. Yeah. Nice We're corner guard from BC. Boy, we are watching the teams, though, cleaning up after each other. After uh, one of the teammates uh, throws, the opposition will come and clean the ice if they were kind of squatting on the ice or if they had a hand on the ice, trying to make sure that there is no. Uh, other factors good, to deal clean. with with rocks picking up debris. Yep, yep, yep. hard line, hard line, hard guys, hard, hard line, hard, keep her going, hard, hard, over hard, hard, straight up. Okay, wide, a little down, eh? Well, two shots on this sixth end for Andrew Gibson that will bring, bring down his percentage. Kevin McKenzie, whose grandparents back in Kelowna, and his parents, Bill and Judy, are watching with a great deal of interest. Kevin told us that it's the first time that his parents have not come to watch either himself or his sister Kelly curl in a big event, and they were absolutely beside themselves all week trying to get enough uh, coverage. But Kevin did say they're planning on going to Winnipeg. <laughs> yes. The Worlds take place, of course, in Winnipeg. One representative for Canada already determined, Colleen Jones. And who will be Draw on the male side? Just to hit and roll. Concern for Mark Dacey is that, that in. the guard's a little too tight. That's not bad. Looking at the angle raise on the red guard. Up. Onto the yellow zone. This still will leave a corner guard up there, Joan, and I'm not sure the call I'd be playing, but uh, certainly they're trying to get a little too conservative here. At some point, uh, when there's three guards there, it might Whoa. be time to draw. Yep. Hard. Yeah. Hard. You can be sure Pat Ryan will be drawing on his next one. Don't stop. Shot. The yellow goes. The stone that was thrown by Rod Harris also goes, but a red rock remains sitting out front. Is the desired result there for Nova Scotia that tight guard is now there, right? yep. red. Light. That's a lot. Six. Oh. Let me down to it. Oh. Room. Heavy. Eight, nine. A lot of room. Well no, then. No, no. Stay with it. Eight, nine. Still to it. Better. Nine. Freeze. There. Oh, whoa, 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 there, whoa, there, whoa, there, whoa, 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 whoa,
And again, playing behind the T-line. Uh, advantage to uh, either team, depending on who can get the, the last one up to the T-line. Right, generally, the team without the hammer, though, is very happy to be playing Three. back behind, behind yep. the T-line. Line. Line's great. Hard! Line's great. Gonna go. Yep. Hard! Line's Stay on good. it, boys. Hard line. Hard! Line. Hard! This is a much line. tighter line. line. Hard! Yep! Whoa! Hard! Yep! Whoa! Whoa! Yep! Yep! Now it's a question Hard. of weight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. When you talk about intensity, you can hear that anxiety in the in the voices, not only Mark Dacey, but this man, Rob Harris, as well. They are focused on every shot and making it as perfect as possible. Arning with his second stone at this end, attempting to follow the same path. Six, seven. The question will be oh, how many eight. stones, as John wow. mentioned, will it be before you get to the T line, and seven. then Room. the next freeze will it. not be no. shot stones. No. So. No. Heavy. Nine. No. Heavy. Nine. Stay with it. Heavy. Nine. Rattle them around. Okay. Good angle set up there for BC. That's not bad. Red stone will not be driven onto the. Other yellow stone at the back of the rings. <laughs> that psyched me. He told me at half. He says it's going to be heavier when you're throwing down the middle. Back eight, guys. Not. Yeah. Down the middle of the other side, it is. <laughs> Dean Horning just uh, knowing that he did throw it more, <laughs> thinking he needed to. That's frustrating. Like back Whoa. line. Back Whoa. line. Back line. Whoa. Right off. Back right line. Off. Right off. Still coming off. down. Still back line. Off. Not bad. No. So no. needs to get to the center line. Off. 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 There goes now. Right off. Never. Yes. Nova Scotia lies too. Yep. That's a good shot. Those two yellow stones at the back of the rings now are not likely going to come into play. You're kind of messy back there. <laughs> Seven, eight. Straight back. How about back ring? Here? Try and get to the inside of it, eh? Okay. Okay. Got a little movement here. Back 12 is okay. You can see the extended broom that Pat has. He's got about a two foot extension at the top of the handle. It's almost as tall as he is. <laughs> well, 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 well. Oh. And Bob Ursel just trying to create wow, the, wow, the wall of death, wow. moving those rocks behind the T wow. line. No. Oh. Get rid of that other red pat. No. Oh. Right. There's wow. a big finish. Right. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a dandy. Is there a reason for the extension on uh, Pat Ryan's I'm brush? Not, I'm not sure why. Pat has, has had Pat a broom like that for quite a few years now. and. Uh, nice. yeah. He wait, feels he can wait, reach wait, maybe over some stones to, to hold the broom for his teammates. Back, guys. Even if you're just back line. So you see, it's a back handmade line, model the tape, and, and uh, he did it himself. But nice. Maybe he had some help from Red Green. <laughs> Perhaps. <yeah. laughs> We'd have duct tape, I think, <laughs> would be there. Good one. Little up. Yep. Right off. Little yep. up. Right off. Whoa. Whoa. Right off. Please. Not bad. Whoa. Coming down. Back off. line plus. Off. 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 This needs to finish as well, not to jam Come back on. there. Heading to be quite a collection of granite at the back of okay. the eight-foot circle. to look and see if there's any way to I think start. you want to bump it in here and roll here. Start. How about getting to the inside? We're just going to leave it for them. All right, we'll give it a try. Same weight. Yeah. 69 that last one. Pat Ryan taking a lot of input from Bob Ursula. Wait. More than what Eleven I have seen in the past yeah. with Pat Ryan playing with uh, various other teammates. It's tight to the guard. 
Again, a rub on the guard. So now Nova Scotia lies three. And they are in a heap of trouble. BC is right now. There's no yellow stones out front to, to raise back. And not a lot of room to draw in. Nice try. What? Good throw. <coughs> Mark Dacey just looking yeah. for a guard. Yep. Lines to make things. All right, but just kind of come up and bite center line. All right, Mark, let's go, bud. Ideally, where does he want this stone position, Mike? Well, he's saying just a line shot for him. He'd like it tight to the rings, almost even with his own red guard and, and just touching the center line. Bad news for Pat Ryan is when he does run the guard back into the one at the top of the button, there's such a collection of red stones and, and catchers back there that Rope. he's going to have to Rope. be very Halfway. fortunate to give Wait. himself an Hard. easy draw on his neck on his last shot. Wait. Yep. Provided Mark Hard, makes this one, Hard. he needs to make Hard this away. guard. Hard. The line is everything. Hard. More than how tight it is Hard. to the ring. Pretty good spot. He's just biting the center line. Higher than he would have yeah, liked. Care more, I think. There may be room like with the out turn to come in, tap yeah. it, and roll in behind the tight red guard. Oh, yeah. The intern is also there. <coughs> Actually, that's what I meant. <laughs> a little more, eh? <laughs> the intern yeah, draw. Well, we're good. Yeah. This is a very right. tight port in here, yeah. but there is room just to throw back line weight that and have your shooter top, roll. Eh? Right into well, that's that spot top of the forefoot. Remember, I threw right there in the second end. Well, maybe we remind him of that before he throws it. I mean, it will if you're off it, but. That's what I mean. Maybe we just remind him of that before he throws it. All right. <laughs> well, you heard the lead in second talking, saying that what, look? what they're going to say to Pat when he does get More? out of the hack. Huh? No? I don't think so, Pat. Move coming home. Back eight. This is where the line call for Ursel will be critical. Well, Bob's hoping for some help from the skipper there. He knows his was his little miss that's gotten them into this mess. And tough shot here for Pat Ryan, but very makeable with the amount of curl on the ice. Yep. Just line heavy. Oh, heavy! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. whoa. Close to hack! Whoa, whoa! Right off! Hasn't roll started to break roll yet. Roll hard, Cap! Yeah. He's the on the stone out front. Hard, right over! Whoa! And Nova Scotia still lies three. And he's taken away his outturned path of the button, which really hurts. The shooter is in the way. Be lots, Bruce. That's, that's close. Yeah, it's a long guard. This guard has taken away the outturn draw. Mark Dacey taking wasting no time, right and he's coming it, yeah. right in to the top of the button. All right, let's go, Mark. A little wide and light wouldn't be the end of the world here either, Joan, forcing Pat to play the, the raise. But <coughs> Mark would really like to tighten the screws here a little bit and, and tap that stone of his to the top of the button. 65. Whoa, oh, it's 60. It's heavy. 58. Where is it? Heavy. Line's Whoa. good. Clean. Whoa, off. Whoa. Off if it's heavy. Off. Still. Clean. Clean. Yep. Line only. Fine. Fine. Bump it up to lie four. Very similar to the shot that Mark Daisy had to play in three. Pat Ryan needs to get the corner of the button.
tough, tough shot, though. The, the problem for Pat is might be this guard, Joan. He's yeah. taking enough ice, but the stones break so late here that that, for him to get to the side of the button, he has to miss that, be good that yellow guard yeah. very, very tightly for the stone not to overcurl. Is there enough room at the side of that button for for Ryan to get shot? Well, we said no in the third end. So I don't want to go there again, but it, this is a little more difficult than the shot that uh, that Mark made in the third end. I think Mark's had a little bit more of the button this time, but uh, certainly not easy at the best of times. The final stone, the critical shot on this sixth end for Pat Ryan. Good. Five, six, oh, clean, clean, hip. Good line, line. Line. Good. Please. Six. Six. line Six means T-line. T-line. Line. Line. line good. An inch or two of clearance there. He needs uh, almost full button. Look at this. Oh. Has he got enough to be shot? A great attempt. I don't think he's there. Oh, it's red. Yeah, not red. It is Let's red. Go. A steal of one. And Nova Scotia has a two-point advantage. To make sure your pictures last for generations. Is Sarah there? Make sure the paper says Kodak. Show her what you look like. Kodak paper has advanced technology. Told you, identical. Technology that resists fading and keeps your pictures brilliant for generations. Share the moments, share the life. Find Kodak paper at these fine retailers. Curling. With every game played, your contact to the world expands. With over a million participants utilizing 1,100 clubs across the country, curling is an entertaining social way to stay active. Play for fun, play to win, or just come out and enjoy the membership benefits. Clubs can be assisted by the Canadian Curling Association's Development Fund, which serves to promote, renovate, and offer advice on operations. Get involved. Join a club near you today. It has lifetime value. Up here, just about everything seems larger than life. The prairie, the sky, <laughs> even our animals. And when someone comes by our true value with a problem, large or small, they know they've come to the right place. True Value, official hardware supplier to Championship Curling. My name's David Mole. I'm from Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario, and I was a student here at the University of Glasgow. Scotland's great. The land, the people, the history. But you don't know how much you miss home until you're away from it. So my roommate James and I decided to create a little piece of Canada. We called our room Caribou House. In fact, it became known as the unofficial Canadian Embassy here on campus. But for some reason, it still didn't feel completely Canadian yet. So I wrote home to Tim Horns for a little help. You know, there's some things that just say home. Back at the Metro Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia with a two-point lead now as we get set for the seventh end of this semifinal. Well, Joan and Mike were back in the community this week in Halifax sharing their experiences in curling with young people as part of CBC Sports Outreach Program, and eyes always light up when they bring out their Olympic gold and silver medals from the 1998 Olympic Winter Games in Nagano with students here at Queen Elizabeth High School. And then it was across the harbor to Prince Andrew High School to talk the finer points of the game and show those coveted medals. And of course, mingle with the young people, sign some autographs, and it looked like a, a great experience, uh, Mike and Joan, by all. It was a ton of fun, and uh, that's one of the one of our perks of, of, of the jobs that we get to go out and into the communities and, and see some of the high school students and introduce the sport to them. 
Well, we've seen two incredible draw attempts in this game. One successful on the third end by Mark Dacey, and this one on end six by Pat Ryan coming so close. Well, I think it was, as we, we set up, it was absolutely the same type of shot as Mark. They just could have swept it a little bit sooner. They had a few more inches to play with. They could have brought that one back a little bit more, very close, but a clutch draw against four. We saw the importance of Mark Dacey bumping up his stone. He uh, wasn't enough for him to just throw the guard on his last. He knew that he wanted to get in there and tap his stone right to the full button. And, and it's a good thing that they did that. It did result in the steal. Yeah, talk about respect for, for each other. The, I, he's going to come and draw to the button. I better make this as close as I can. And sure enough, they do complement each other. Before we come back to air, you can hear the skips talk to each other and say things like, nice shot, you know, things like that. Both teams right. threw six ends at 84%. Yes. Outstanding yep. curling in this Briar semifinal in the Halifax Metro Center. What a battle going on between the two leads, Andrew Gibson and Room. Kevin McKenzie. Room. And they can set the tone Lean for the end with their Line's shots. Good. Oh, they do, absolutely. No Every end, putting Take the rocks in, in those exact positions. It used to be that you put Finish your it. weakest player as lead, and these Finish days in it. curling, Go. all Go. four yep. players have to okay, be absolutely yeah. wonderful players and be able to make everything. That's why I never graduated from lead. <laughs> Three shots, Andy. Let's make sure we rattle them around a bit, eh? We can't leave them high in the house, Mac. Rattle them around a bit, said Bob Ursel to Kevin McKenzie. Nine. Whoa. Whoa. Nine. They're looking to throw back line Whoa. weight here and Nine. tap those stones. Nine, ten. Nine. Into Whoa. the back of the eight foot, back of the 12 foot. Whoa. Oh, yeah. just rip the corner and Bro, it's just gotta, it's just gotta be harder, right? That? It's no. gotta be harder. Oh, we heard the discussion uh, between all four members of that BC team talking about that uh, with that shot Whoa. at Kevin McKenzie, Whoa. they have to make sure they Whoa. move at least Whoa. one red stone behind the tee line. Kevin didn't oh, have enough. Up. Close, close, close. Nope, nope. That was a bonus, both yellows going. Certainly was an option, though, and uh, you know, Rob, anxiously watching that stone as it went down the sheet, it was a really great Here, shot. Back, okay. But with a two-point lead, you have the opportunity now to, to start peeling a little bit, and, and you won't see Mark Dacey take any chances. Mm -hmm. That his strength is in the big weight hits, and, and he likes to have his team throw them as well. It won't be as easy to generate offense for BC Are in these wait, last four ends. But because Kevin McKenzie didn't move Ball. these rocks behind Ball. the tee line, now Ball. Dean Horning has to take Ball. one of his shots, Ball. make sure that he knocks at least one of those red stones back behind the Ball. tee. And for those who may not be totally familiar with curling uh, terminology, the nice tee line is the intersection Field. of the center line and the line that divides the house. cleanly picked out of there. Leaves their shot stone. Nicely. Oh, well, you're saying no, he's saying yes. I'm just joking. A <laughs> little intense, hey. Rob Harris. Right. I said it's always a good sign when, when, the, when they're calling one or the other, you know Mine's you're close. Good. Wait. Dean Horning looking for the same Earth type of can. shot, just wants to know oh. this Nine, redstone ten. again oh. back behind the tee line. Oh. Oh. He wants Box. to keep right. it in play. Oh. Good come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right they want to create that little come wall on. of death so that they have an opportunity to freeze in there or get some jams out of Nova Scotia Seriously, and just get know. their two points. Start. Burp. Mark playing the angle rays on the red. Anything on the outside of the stone really will, will do the job. 
marginally harder than just picking the Yellowstone out on heart, its own. Hard! Real hard! Real hard! Real hard! Right to it! Right to it! Red onto yellow, and there goes the yellow. Nova Scotia lies three. And as I talked about earlier, team's very conscious about cleaning up after the thrower on either side following up to where the thrower was sitting or squatting while they're watching the watching their own stone being traveling down the ice do the handprint sometimes cause a problem sometimes it's handprint sometimes it's a gripper mark from where uh, your non-sliding foot was on the ice leaves a little little mark but when you put your hand on the ice it'll melt little portions and that may cause uh, the rock to catch Hard! Wait. We're bumping! Bumping hard! Clean! 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 Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Nice. Nice touch. Very nice. Is that your broom, I hear? Is that your broom? What? Uh, Nova Scotia with an edge at third stone right now. Must Not much space! Yeah. Hit it thin there or try to nose it with easy weight. Whatever you like. I'd rather nose. I don't want to put him behind that corner. Nose is good. You know, Nova Scotia very much in defense mode. Nice thing with the nose hit is that you will stay frozen on the yellow. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Pretty be very little room whoa. for DC to whoa. negotiate. Whoa. Huh? Back there. Whoa! 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 Back of the eight foot. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, whoa! Never. Never. A little Stay. mistake there, but. Yeah. Select yeah. control, uh, maybe, eh? There's very little room for okay, BC now to roll okay. with this stone, and Mark Dacemo is trying to hope there's a double on this next stone. Yeah, cross it, maybe, I guess, a little bit. It was tough to get out of the injury. Yeah. Yeah, I. Bob Ursel looking for the freeze on the shot stone. If they would hit the shot stone, uh, there'd be so many options for Nova Scotia to get a double. Oh, a this is a good a call. Six. No bump. No bump. Have a look. Clean it. Seven, eight. Clean. All right. Red line. Okay, freeze it. No bump. They don't want to push that red stone back. They just want to freeze to it, and that's what Ursel has done. It's a very nice weight, just over curled a tiny bit. I would have liked to have had that stone keyed up on the inside, center line side of that uh, little. Kept their line, maybe. I think it's been in. <laughs> Not allowing Mark Dacey a double yeah, opportunity. That's good. If I miss this, I hit that, I still hit that. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yep. You gonna curl that much, Mark? I'm not trying to hit much with this. I know, I know. Andy, yeah, gonna curl you up. follow okay. anything to your right side, boy, okay? Yeah. You got, uh, we only just touched that. It's, it, it's gonna need some work to get out, I think. Yeah. Mark mentioned that even double, if eh? he oh, yeah. just buzzes yeah. by the yellow even stone, he clips yellow, his own. Red, it still takes the other yellow. Stone. Yeah, well, let's make it. Can be aggressive with it. Yeah. The double would be great. We said it's a safe opportunity to really go for it. If he does miss it, it's a very difficult double. You have to hit the, the Yellowstone very, very thinly. And this is Mark's strength. But as he said, he can afford to be aggressive because the Yellowstone is sitting there, the other oh, yellow. Right. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa. He whoa. just whoa. wants to catch whoa. a small piece of this Yellowstone. Okay. Oh, boy, you'll have another double. Well, he got two out, but not two of the same color. And you can see he actually hits his own oh, redstone first. Oh, he path, just rubbed the yellow. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if it was going to curl that much. Well, Rob's finished. Rob's peeled. Two different throwers. Pat! And he really only needed to curl about another half an inch, and he would have made the double. You're right, Mike. So this end now yep. prevents Pat Ryan with the possibility of getting back on even terms. And
with with Mark's great hitting ability, they need to get this one as close to even in the house, meaning about a foot behind the T line, much like the one on the right side of the house is. Here's seven, eh? Yeah. Or an eight. And as we pointed out before, throwing the more conventional outturn with his draw shot. Five, six. Right here. Let's see. Let's see, Kevin. Go for the eight, guys. Seven. Come on. Six, seven, right six. here. Uh, go. Right here. Go, go, go. Look. Have a look. Clean. Have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Look. Clean, all right. Whoa. Clean. Perfect. Sweep. That's good sweeping. That's rock placement. It's difficult to do. Nice weight, Pat. Great shot. Well, you can't roll very far there. No. Keep it like this. It's normal. Mark initially indicated a hit and roll behind. Head stick. Yeah. Rock at the top 12 foot, but I don't know that there's room to get there and be shot rock. Okay. Let's go, bud. Well, there may be room, but it's so exact that by ro rolling just an inch or, or so too much behind that guard, and it's a free draw for two. You want to make Pat Ryan's shot for two as difficult as possible. Well, there isn't much Pat Ryan hasn't seen in his great curling career. Playing up! Hard! 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 Real hard! Hard! Lean on it, guys. Hard! Gotta lean on it! Can they get past the guard? They just skin that uh, stone sitting up at the top of the 12 foot. Sorry, Bruce. And they really had to lean on those brushes to get it by to make contact with the yellow rock. Hey. So Pat Ryan now has a draw for two to once again tie this semifinal match. Good shot. I think you could see Pat Ryan maybe thinking a little bit about whether he should throw the same path as what he just threw. I'm, I'm a little surprised he's not actually, but uh, this this intern that he's selected to play is this is the same side of the sheet that he's we've been playing all game well, that same weight up here Pat. Be see about four feet of ice this up that one looked pretty good the last one yes it was that outturn spot that mark came up short on in the in the fifth end they should be very familiar with this and the sweepers have just confirmed that with him just throw the same weight we should be fine ryan with his final stone of n7 needs full 12. looking for about a 91 95 split in there might need it, guys. No, no, no. Seven, eight. Six, eight seven. Eight, eight, eight. Was the number? Eight. Seven. Clean. Seven is back of the four. Looks good. And he puts it right on the button. So on end seven, BC gets a deuce, and the game is again tied. The world's largest hotel chain is almost anywhere you want to go. The world's largest hotel chain tucks you in around the globe. With over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, the world's largest hotel chain is Best Western. Inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Call 1-800-WESTERN or visit bestwestern.com. The Nokia 7210 phone with available camera headset. The new pocket translator. We make multimedia messaging as easy as see, snap, and send. Nokia, connecting people.
Remember what your wife told you Yeah, that one Cut and Softness you'll notice Introducing Advil Extra Strength for today's tough pain. I was born to get standing ovations. Now I dance to stay healthy. But when I've neglected my diet, I've depended on the science of Centrum daily for complete vitamin and mineral support. Centrum helps make my day complete. In 1989, Saskatoon set a new standard for the Canadian Men's Curling Championship with standing room crowds every day. To kick off curling's new millennium in 2000, it was Saskatoon once again and a new attendance record. Next March, Saskatoon shines once more with Nokia Briar 2004. This is the big one, the 75th, and we will open the doors to our house, Canada's party. Get your tickets now and come celebrate 75 shining years. Three ends remaining in this Briar semifinal, and we've been treated to some rather fantastic shot making by both teams. Oh, it's been a great game. So interesting uh, for all of us uh, viewing. I can't imagine what it'd be like playing. Would be a little nerve wracking, I would think. I would think, and uh, you know, this is they get into the eighth end. Nova Scotia. Both teams are happy the way the game started. BC giving up a big steal of two in the first end. They're back into the game now, tied with uh, three ends to go. And I know that Nova Scotia is happy to have the hammer here going into eight. Three. Easy, guys. Easy, easy. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that boy, Mac. I don't want you to beat me up. Well, the big crowd at the Halifax Metro Centre includes the Governor General of Canada, the Right Honourable Adrian Clarkson, and His Excel Excellency Honorable. John Ralston Saul, and also in attendance, yep. Yep. the Hi, Chief Molly. Justice of Hi. the Supreme Hi. Court of Canada, Canada the Right Honourable Beverly McLaughlin. Officially into it with that miss from Nova Scotia. Good opportunity for BC. Two center guards. Four. Three. Nova Scotia was attempting Three. to split Three. that center guard and roll to corners. Room. Five. Room. Five. Over mid. Four. Five. Roll. Oh, go. Go. All right. Okay. Don't. At the end. Yeah. Come on. Come on. BC could be in a little time clock nice difficulty with back. 18 back. minutes. Huh? And change yeah. remaining to play three like ends. When we get on, the thing starts rambling. Like That's when it starts rambling. Yeah, they're going to have to just, just be efficient. You know, you just have to be, be ready to throw as soon as, as, pretty good, eh? soon as Nova Scotia finishes no, up. The yellow, yellow. So you seven, like a seven minute yeah. advantage to Nova Scotia. And it, it is an advantage. We always watch the time clocks. Even if we were tight, we knew if we had more than the opposition, we were safe. But uh, you really have to be careful when you get down to these last couple of ends because I. I I I'm prefer sure there'll be hit. quite a few rocks okay. in play. Board wait. Board. Just something for them to be aware of. I think at this point it's a you know to keep keep the pace up. Uh, no, whoa, nothing whoa, to make whoa, a real whoa, big whoa, deal whoa, about whoa. yet. Whoa, close. No. Whoa. Yeah, they do have some time out as well. Clean. Close. Yep. 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 Hey. Whoa. Up. What? Well, there has been some discussion about possibly changing the timing rules. Good boy. Shot, Andy. Timing the downtime. So, in effect, you are not running the clock when the stones are moving. And rather than 73 minutes, the time would be reduced to maybe 45 minutes. Right, it would be thinking time as opposed hey, to rock traveling hey, time. Because what ends up happening whoa. is in a game whoa, like whoa, this, you get whoa. tight. 
for time and you, you actually just hit out an end, so you're actually penalized for being low on, on time. So if you just gave both teams oh. the same amount of time to consider ah. what they'd like to play and don't actually penalize them when they're, they need to throw draws as opposed to hits. Because when you get in a game like this where there are so many draws, you do run the risk of running out of time. Of course, the penalty is severe. You lose the game. The Manitoba Curling Association has been experimenting with Broadway, just timing the downtime. I think it's a great idea. I, I would love to see some more experimentation with it. Uh, it would be a shame in a game like this for, for the fans down. and the players Hard. if they had to run the rocks Hard. up and down one end just to make up enough yeah. time to win. Hard. Right up. Hard. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Off. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Hard roll. Another nice shot there. Very from nice. Harris. Well, on the very first end, we saw Nova Scotia execute those shots where they made the hit and Is that got enough, the roll Pat? behind Remember cover. You half the button, eh? Remember mine? You were out a little further. See the roll there behind the right. two center guards. The nice thing for BC now is that Stone is really not in play. Those two center guards are still going to be freely drawing around both of those guards. So they're ignoring that Stone at the top 12. An option might be to run that yellow guard back, but Pat Ryan, Ryan staying on the offense and going around. And Bob Ursel again, more input with Pat Ryan about where the broom should be. Line's good. Line's good. Six. Line's good, Rue. Line's good. A lot of room. Line's good. Line's good. Starting to curl there. Room. Five, six. <laughs> Tremendous oh. movement as the rock finishes to become shot. Wow, did that ever curl. <laughs> Deep. There, yeah, they think that it, it picked oh, up some debris. Nailed. Yeah. Just look how hard this Going is curling. sideways. Damn it. Yeah. Mark Dace now running that yellow stone back onto his own red. Had the yellow stone just been thrown, come deeper in the house, this yeah, option hard. would be much more hard. difficult. Dangers, if you miss hard. the shot, you leave that stone guarded behind hard. your own. Whoa. Whoa. Hard. And there's the Hard. miss. I bet. A lot of good options here for Nova Scotia on, on that zone at the top eight foot. So Pat Ryan is forced to come around that zone at the top 12 foot. Hey, Bobby. How's this track going to compare to my, to my, uh, that's good ice. How's my track going to compare for weight? To Coming the in here? Bumped. 290. It's going to be at least as fast. Yeah. Out here. 290 split. Outturn draws have been trouble for Bob Ursel during the round robin. 69% versus 84% with his intern draw. Four. Hurry. Four's light. Uh, Hurry. Good line. Good line. Good line. Good line. Short. Good line. Hey. Hey, line. Hey. Hurry. Whoa, whoa, Bump whoa, whoa, whoa. it. Not bumping. Bump it. Bump off. Doesn't want to line those up. What was that? Are they lined up now? I believe they are. The red may not stay in the rings, but I think he'll get a pretty good piece of it when he does Man. make contact. Watch. Look for nose hit here. Nose hit's good. Nice thing for Mark when he does, if he does make the shot, the shooter will stay right there and really control that top part of the rings. Burp. If it's a little center line side, John, he might actually pull his stone in a little better angle and may, may get his oh. own to stay. Whoa, yep. yep. Cruz Lonas with Hard. his first rock of this whoa, eighth whoa, end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. And he'll remove both yellow rocks. Nova Scotia lies one behind cover. Because it did stay, it stayed easily in the top of the 12 foot and it's well buried. Good shot. Uh, a little more in the nose, a little lot better. Yeah, sticking there. Well, buried behind the guards, there is no choice for Pat There's Ryan. No He's going in again. Your Mark lamenting. He would have liked the shooter to stay right there. And there is an opportunity here. Or Bob Ursel. Come around. Clean. This is taking the curl early, too. Great line. Come on. Come 
That is oh, what a beautiful shot by Bob Erzl. Gone. Yeah, that is so buried. We talked about a key matchup at third stone. Not much to choose between Bruce Lonas or Bob Erzl. Well, both of these players have, have really come up big when they needed to. We've, uh, there was a couple of misses by Bob there in the sixth end that uh, got them into trouble and resulted in a steal. But certainly uh, the entire game has been a game of great made shots. This is a big shot here for Bruce. Double raise onto that zone at the top of the button. They can make it the lie too buried. to red on to yellow to line two. Awesome shot. Big Great shot. 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 There it is. Good call. Labeled all the way. A fantastic shot. Just one great shot after the other. Okay, Matt, got to sink this. Freeze on top. <clears throat> you heard the call from Pat Ryan. They need to freeze on top of the shot stone. What have we? Very disconcerting. The eight band pats. You're looking at a, at a situation where you're freezing the yeah. stones at the top of the eight you foot, can bump it in almost feet, conceding eh? yeah. an opportunity it. for two points. You and call it's it. You so call it. Can't roll open. Freeze it. We get the line bumping a little. Well, we're going there then. Yeah, two ends real fast. Pat. What are we playing? Like for the freeze, if we got the weight, we'll move it. Yeah, concern from Bobby is that they, you know, he realized that they're in trouble too, and he'd like to move that red zone behind the T line. Kind of weight. Six. To it, we'll try and bump it a bit. Okay. Bob would really like to tap this one. I think Pat is saying, I'm still going to throw my normal um, Draw freeze wood. weight. Let the sweepers make this little tap if the line is right. They can't afford to roll open and leave Mark Daisy an opportunity to hit and roll another whoa. one in behind yeah. that, whoa. that center guard. Clean. Seven, eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eight is heavy. Whoa. Eight. Whoa. Seven. Seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lots of room whoa. by the guard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I don't mind that. Well, as you said, Mike, Throw. perfect Gee. chance for a little hit and flop to lie three. Bad line up. Yep. Another inch curl. Yeah. And if he is successful with this hit and flop, is there any way that uh, Pat can get to the button with his final stone? <coughs> he will be forced to play the outturn freeze into the top of the button. Sorry, the outturn freeze. Right, Mark would actually like to roll the stone just, just through, across center line, line, I believe. Yeah, and, and I like that. Let's try to kill it. That was good. Try it again, but regardless of what happens here, Mark or uh, Pat Ryan is going to have an extremely difficult shot on his next stone. Bad, uh, bad, not a bad shot here actually would be to nose this for Mark Dacey. And if Pat does make the perfect freeze, he'll have an angle raise on his next stone. I think if he rolls too far past the center line, uh, Mike, he's going to throw the exact same freeze that he yeah. just uh, he just attempted. Yeah, I like I like nosing it actually, and if mm -hmm. Pat does make the perfect freeze, he will have a raise on on your next shot. We, yep. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Ah. Whoa! Ah. Whoa! 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 Well, Bob Harris said to Mark that's Daisy, better, right? yeah. that's better we, we anyway. Make he make plays the same draw. Where do you want to go for it? We can angle this. Freeze or the well, double, the, the two options. That double can do. Okay. Yeah, we're leaving him a pretty easy whale in there for three. Might steal one. That's not bad. That might even be best <clears throat> right there. Well, you'll have to line Good it up so we can't tap, drop it out. Four, eh? Mac, just beat out that one. Yep. 
This is a huge draw. So Pat, Pat Ryan. Yeah, Pat indicating he doesn't actually want the freeze. He wants a top forefoot so that that angle raise is not available to Mark Dacey. And this will also cut off the draw path, path to the draw as well. So important that they communicate draw. Could just follow the him down, bump and him and roll in. And he's give him his deuce. Well, whatever you like. You gotta roll in though. I don't mind this. We can steal one this way. We're thinking um, like top four. Okay. It it cuts four. off his chop shot. Eh? Yeah. Put it in there. Ryan's final stone of and eight facing three Nova Scotia rocks. He's been good with 84. the upturn draw Main. today. This line. Five. Tight line. Six. Well, tight line. Hurry. 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 It's on the top. Oh, no. Ouch. This could be the game right here. Well, hit for four. Jesus Christ. Right. Right across the face, roll yeah. into the eight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mark looking for a nice clean throw here, just a nice smooth out turn the only danger here is overthrowing and hitting it high and all right buddy. let's go he this knows is his strength he knows there. that he can come across the face run right into his other rocks buzz of anticipation through this halifax metro center crowd as they anticipate perhaps a first ever briar final under the playoff format for nova scotia yep whoa Me. whoa whoa Clean, whoa, 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 clean, clean. He's good. He's got four. <laughs> Woo. And we could be close to handshake time here at the Halifax Metro Center as the Blue Dozers lead by four. The saga began in 1922 with the first successful tea party. In 1953, the Bud Light Institute invented the Tupperware party, freeing up an entire afternoon for men to get together and play around with golf. In 1976, we invented the Stagette. And in 1984, a day at the spa. We were there then, we're here now. We're the Bud Light Institute, and we love you. This calls for a Bud Light. You already know these uses for your karcher. Here's a few you might not have thought of. The hat rack. The shower. The centerpiece. The chandelier. You can always use a karcher. It's a job with a difference. You're part of a team. Getting hands-on experience. Sure, there are easier jobs. But with us, you see the world. You make a difference. The Navy. Think about it. Maybe this is the challenge you're looking for. Strong. Proud. Today's Canadian Forces. A message from the Government of Canada. Ford Hot Shots Curling Skill Testing Competition. First prize, a 2003 Ford Focus ZX5, valued at more than $23,000. And a Nokia 6310 World Phone. Here's how they play. The Ford Hot Shots challenges the abilities of individual curlers who attempt six shots from a hidden stick to a double takeout, each shot worth a maximum of five points. After three rounds of competition, they were down to a pair of seconds. New Brunswick's Mark Lecoq and PEI's Phil Gorvet. Here's Lecoq, who plays for Russ Howard out of Moncton. He needs to be right on the mark here. Attempting a hit and roll to the button for five. And he's got it for a total of 17 points, edging Gorvet by two. Congratulations to Mark Lecoq.
of New Brunswick and daughter Sarah. He's got the keys to a new Ford. Lecoq in the driver's seat for brand new Ford Focus ZX5, the Ford Hotshot. Well, Mark Daisy, the hot shot on the Metro Center ice with four on the eighth end to take control of this semifinal. He had a fairly routine nose hit to pick up the four points. And there was tremendous reaction from the female supporters. His wife, Heather Smith Daisy, and Lainey P Peters, the uh, wife of second Rob Harris, but it was the two tremendous shots by Bruce Lonas on the eighth end that set up the four possibility. Really tremendous. The second shot in particular, the double raise, the lie two buried, really set up, uh, well, gave, gave them a great opportunity and forced BC to make such a difficult shot. And uh, Pat Ryan on his last own came up, you know, it was really quite a bit short. It wasn't too close to making that freeze at all. What? You're just giving him a corner. Yeah. Mark. Lona skipped the Nova Scotia rank yeah. when the Briar was yeah, last held here in 1995. He had a five and six record that year. Daisy, of course, that same year was playing third for Brad Height when they defeated Kerry Burtnick, 6-5 on an extra end in the Page playoff game and then lost the final to Burtnick by a score of 10-8. Yeah, I might get a double field. So it's looking very much as though the two teams that started Briar competition a week ago, we'll finish it off tomorrow evening. Alberta defeated Nova Scotia 10-4 in the very first game of round robin competition. Right and Randy Furby is awaiting a winner for tomorrow night's championship yeah. game, and it's looking it. very much as though it will be Nova Scotia. Hope. Hope, hope. Well, <laughs> key for Pat Ryan right now is to try to stay as patient as possible. They need to get a double corner guard set up so they have a chance to try to score three points. The only way to do that is with two guards. Mark knows that he's the, the double is tempting but let's just peel the one out and they know if they just keep making their their peels at the most that Pat can get in this end is, is two. Ah. Good shot. So very tough to play the last two ends of, of uh, this semifinal game when you are when you've just given up four points and you know that the odds of you coming back are, are very slim. So very difficult to focus on each and every shot. And particularly when ice conditions are as are as good as they are, there's there's been very few heels missed. It's, it's not it's not it's difficult to miss wide open hit on this, on this uh, in these conditions. Getting better. Oh. One. Yeah. Good one. Well, Randy Furby uh, may have anticipated that he might have been playing his friend and former teammate Pat Ryan in tomorrow's final, but it looks as though he's going to be going up against the local favorite, Mark Dacey. Yep. Yeah. And because of Furby's success in already securing a spot in the Canada Games and the Continental Cup and the Olympic trials, this game was huge because the winner gets all of those perks. And it looks as though it will be going to the Nova Scotia rink. This stage of the end, again, it's it's easy when you're Nova Scotia to take things just a little too lightly. They know they're one two. one missed peel away from giving up a potential three ender, so they really have to no. be careful. Stick to the game plan. Clean. Clean it. But you're right, Don. Certainly, uh, I'm sure Mark had Stop. visions of all of those all of those uh, perks for winning this game before he threw his last hit for four in the last end, and and just just. On the other side, I'm sure Pat saw them all disappear at the same time when his stone came up a little short. All right, Bruce, let's go, bud. There's the Nova Scotia coach, Peter Corkum. And all members of the Nova Scotia rink will credit yep. him with playing hard. a major role in helping them go get this far. Hard. Well, he's a man that's played hard. a major role in Never many stop, players' hard. lives. Never he stop. coached Colleen Jones up until hard. the year 2000. 
he actually got involved with this team because he was the team driver for Mark Dacey and Brad Height from Saskatchewan when they were here in the Briar in 95. Uh, when Mark moved out to New Brunswick and then uh, Nova Scotia, he got involved with Peter again because he was so influential. A little miss there from Team Nova Scotia. It's a nine. not a great opportunity, not a great oh, corner guard, oh. but certainly more than oh, AC yeah, could have hoped for. Nine, ten, just nine. They're going to gonna need to try to get a couple yeah, of stones tick. behind this off. corner guard. We need a tick. This one's bad. No, we, get, we need a tick. We need a tick. We got no tick. Two. Set. Two. They couldn't afford to do that. No, no. not at all. The sweepers oh. knew it was heavy the whole way. That's why they were calling for a tick. Get above the tee. Double up. Mark Dacey had just reminded his team during the break between the eighth and ninth end. Just Wait remain straight. focused and Whoa. let's continue doing what Whoa. we have Whoa. been doing. Whoa. Here on Whoa. Whoa. nine, Whoa. they've pretty much been doing that. Right. And Mark wants to hit and stay Whoa. here because Whoa. of the corner guard Whoa. being in play. Whoa. They, they don't want to allow DC coming behind that corner, allow them to be shot rock in there. Good shots, Bruce, at a boy. Disappointing game for Bob Ursel. Playing very well Three, all week. Eight, seven, yeah. hey. <laughs> I know Bob Mark, wanted to get hey, back, wants to get back to those Olympic trials very badly. He uh, he lost the semifinal with Bert Gretzinger to go to the to uh, to Kerry Burnick on on the route to the 2002 games. Of course, the final was won by Kevin Martin, but no sit here for Mark Dacey. will cut off that corner guard and Pat will have very fine if we little stay. opportunity fine? to get to. Fine if we stay. Okay. Oh yeah, we just split host if he can make something good. Well, this <laughs> is the point where if you're Mark Dacey, you Do just you have to control that adrenaline rush as much as anything else. All right, let's go. Interesting reaction from the spectators here at the Halifax <laughs> Metro Center. <laughs> A shot of Randy whoa, Furby whoa, whoa. appeared on the Jumbotron, and whoa, of course, whoa, whoa. these ah. fans are excited at the prospect of having ah. a Nova Scotia team to cheer for in the final, and some boos were heard as Randy Furby's picture appeared. Well, I think Randy Furby's Fine. team better get used to that if they are going to play <laughs> Nova Scotia tomorrow in this arena. It's going to be packed, and and uh, these fans want to get behind this Nova Scotia team. Uh, they yeah, will be taking every opportunity to to get on uh, Alberta's case. Yeah. yeah, Randy's been Before a little bit of controversial, had a little bit of controversial, uh, a few controversial comments in the local papers this week as well. And, and uh, that hasn't helped things either, but certainly uh, Nova Scotia against uh, Alberta in the final. There'll be no doubt as to <laughs> who the, the fans' favorites will be. Last through. Last through. Five, 10 through. Five good. 10 through. Go deep. Lots of room. DC's third attempt to try to get around this corner Four. guard. Right here. Right. Right here. This will stay wide open. Identical spot. Mark will try to nose this and force Pat to give up the hammer. Not that it's a huge issue at this point, That's but I think. About three inches less ice, though. Yeah. In fact, we need to blank this, eh? Feel. Yep. Feel it. Let's go, Mark. Yeah, I think you pretty much have to blank this end if uh, you have any hope of getting four well, it, on ten. Right, and it's, 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 it's would you rather be up three with or <laughs> up four without it? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty good choice to make Play in Nova up. Scotia. Real hard. Got to go. Wait. 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 Good. Yep. Little Play. bit. No mistakes by Dacey on this ninth end. He lies too. And Pat Ryan is playing the double, looking for the blank. The double for the blank? Yeah. Quarter. What? What the hell are we doing? 
<laughs> Dean Horning does not agree. <laughs> what are you doing? Blanking. All right. Well, what do you think? Well, huh? Doesn't look good either. Either. Doesn't look good either way. But <laughs> okay. I think Kevin McKenzie had the best assessment of the situation. Either way, it doesn't look good. And of course, if he only gets one and rolls out, it'll be gloves off time. Oh, hurt! Oh, oh. oh. He needs two. He wants to blank. Black. Black. He's got one. No, he's going to stick around. The tough one. That <laughs> was a tough one. So Ryan makes the double, but is forced to take one, and he that will relinquish stats? the hammer to Nova Scotia, stats leading one. by three, you heading home. Your stats or what? Huh? You patting your stats? Ah, Nova Scotia. An unforgettable place where saltwater cities, living history, and legendary hospitality meet. A place with 7,400 kilometers of coastline dotted with charming seaside towns. A place that really swings. More than just a vacation, this is Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Contact us today for your free vacation guide. My name's David Mole. I'm from Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario, and I was a student here at the University of Glasgow. Scotland's great, the land, the people, the history. But you don't know how much you miss home until you're away from it. So my roommate James and I decided to create a little piece of Canada. We called our room Caribou House. In fact, it became known as the unofficial Canadian Embassy here on campus. But for some reason, it still didn't feel completely Canadian yet. So I wrote home to Tim Hortons for a little help. You know, there's some things that just say home. pictures last for generations. Is Sarah there? Make sure the paper says Kodak. Show her what you looked like. Kodak paper has advanced technology. Told you. Identical. Technology that resists fading and keeps your pictures brilliant for generations. Share the moments, share the life. Find Kodak paper at this fine retailer. Coming up right after today's Nokia Briar semifinal, it's farewell to the Canada Winter Games in Bathurst and Campbellton, New Brunswick. Brenda Irving wraps up two weeks of friendly competition on snow and ice. That's coming up next on Sports Saturday to the 10th end and the home team Don with a stranglehold. With a stranglehold indeed, Mark, as Pat Ryan was attempting to blank nine to retain last rock advantage. Now he's faced with the daunting task of attempting to steal three to tie this game and force oh. an extra end. And Kevin McKenzie thinks he's got another uh, pick when he was coming three. out delivering this stone. Felt right the rock three. grab in his yeah, hand and, grab and uh, had to give yep. it a bit of a push. What's that? Come on, Mac. Go, firm board. You can play that kick shot, Bruce. Yeah. You're playing. I see it. Change my mind. Talk about throwing it through on their first stone and then uh, running it out. But throwing board weight so they make sure the shooter does not stay if they happen Whoa. to make the tick. Whoa. Yeah. No, no Clean. Tick. Yep. Oh, yep. Here goes. Here goes. Hard. Hard all the way. Hard. Oh, my God. Hard shooter. Will it stay in play or will it touch the sideboards? It yeah, just uh, bounced yeah. off. 
Great attempt. Officials there was one guard on top. Try. Rust one guard. One of the officials came up immediately to uh, check the stone as it rolled over to the side and confirmed that it did indeed make contact. So it was replaced under the free guard zone rules. So not only BC down three points, going to be playing a number of precision draws, hoping for misses from Nova Scotia, but they're down to five minutes and some change to uh, throw the remaining stones. Not a lot of time. They do have two timeouts. However, yeah, bring it you in. can't throw through the timeouts, but you can use them, especially on the skip stones, just to give you that time to get down to the hack. Yeah, right, that rocks oh. great. Why'd we pick it? Heel. It's going in. The tone for this game was set in the first end with the steal of two by Nova Scotia's yeah. Mark Dacey to take control. Yeah. Clean. <laughs> Whoa, clean. Good, good, good. I got it. Good and while the game was tied on three different occasions, Nova Scotia never trailed. It's a tremendously interesting battle today. Lots of rocks in play and great shots being made. Wait. Hurry. Clean. Room. Room. Clean. Room. Clean. Line's good. Well, the fondest dreams of the Hurry. Briar Line's Executive next. Committee would have been to have Line's good. a Nova Scotia rink in the right final. The but midweek, I don't think they were right thinking too much along yeah, those lines. Right well, there's really been only one story all week, and that's Randy Furby going undefeated, and, and the rest of the team's kind of battling for that final playoff spot. And, you know, it was Newfoundland's Brad Gushu was at the top of the standings for quite a while, and and uh, Mark Daisy, to his credit, has never really yeah. been out of the playoff pitcher. He's ah. been one of the more consistent ranks yeah. out here this week. And, and you're, you're seeing why here today they just are making a lot of critical, a lot of important shots. And their stats aren't as high as a lot of the other teams, but they, they don't miss very many important ones, that's for sure. Well, in this front end, including Rob Harris and Andrew Gibson, Two. really brought their game today, played very, very well, the same as, as uh, Bruce Lonis compared to the stats of their cue and the stats of the round robin had a terrific game today and i think it bears repeating the importance of this game to the winner and it looks as though it's going to be mark Green. daisy and Two. his nova scotia team an Green. olympic trial better. spot a spot in the continental cup and a berth All in right. the canada yep. cup an opportunity yep. to win a lot of cash and perhaps Represent okay. Canada in the Olympics in Turin, Italy in 2006. And, and, and oh, by the way, you can maybe win the Briar as well. I mean, there's there's a lot <laughs> oh, of wow. there's a lot of things up for grabs. But uh, this 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 I know Mark and his team will be so so happy to be participating in in uh, the Continental Cup Get and the Canada hard. Cup and those trials. They've now Real committed hard. themselves to the next three years Real of competition, Your role. leading up right to, to the it. 2006 Stop Winter harder, Olympics. Andy. Yep. Okay. Bobby. I'm sure Mark Dacey, when he lost the final in 95 in this Five. same building, would never have dreamed that he would be back here again in the same building in another prior final in 2003. Thanks, sir. Three. Well, some talked about the possibility of a father-son combination being successful at the Briar. It doesn't look as though Jim Urso's dreams for his son Bob are going to materialize here. Ursula, of course, won in 1977, okay, providing on Quebec nope. without like only Plastic Briar drive. Heel. Let's go. Out turn. Slightly surprising call here. If they, if they don't line up onto that one in the fourth, and he leaves the, the guard here. Might be tempted just to hit the one in the rings and then play the double, but it looks whoa, like whoa, whoa, both whoa. yellows will be whoa. removed Bugs. with a nose hit here. Ah. Rock, make the shooter, Rob. Rock, Start on the shooter. And both yellows do go out of play. 
Great shot. Everything on a play. Nice shot. So BC is down to its last gasp. They have to have all three remaining stones in the rings, and they need misses by Nova Scotia if they are going to prolong this match. And it's kind of fitting that Bruce Lonis is going to get the chance to throw the last stone in this game. He is the man who set up that big four-ender in the eighth end and all right, said that was the key matchup before the game, and he won at that <laughs> position today. Yeah, what a tremendous opportunity for him to be able to finish off this match, throw the last stone. BC team has already come to the back of the house, bum, bum, bum. It's putting away their brooms. Yeah, they have resigned themselves to yep. the result Please. here as Bruce Lonas is going to remove the yellow rock into a standing ovation, send Nova Scotia to its first ever Briar final since the playoff format was introduced in 1980. So Mark Dacey, Bruce Lonis, Rob Harris, and Andrew Gibson <laughs> now go up against unbeaten Randy Furby trying to make it three in a row for the 2003 Briar title. Now let's join Mark Lee. Thanks, Don. Mark, you've given Nova Scotia a chance to win its first Briar in 52 years. How does that feel? Awesome. I mean, uh, the team stayed tough even though I kind of blew an opportunity in the fifth end to go two up. And uh, our mental toughness, toughness prevailed. That's what we've been feeding ourselves all week, saying we're, we're as mentally tough as anyone, and uh, it showed in the last half of that game. Mark, what a match. Everything you shot seemed to work perfectly. Uh, how did you corner Pat Ryan today? Well, again, we just wanted to come out with a good start. We knew they were going to be aggressive, and uh, the steal of two in the first end was huge. It gave, so, gave us some momentum, and we never relinquished the lead again. Even though we gave up some deuces and, and a steal, um, we never gave the lead back to them, and that was important. Now you face Randy Furby in Alberta. They're unbeaten at 12 and 0. You played them in the very first draw, and you lost that one 10 to 4 after eight ends. How have you raised your game since then? Well, I think there was a lot of uh, anxiety on our part. First game in the Briar, uh, home team. Um, there was just a few issues there that, you know, would have made us not play to our best capabilities. I'm sure we'll give them a much tougher game this time around. Mark, well done. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Mark Dacey and Nova Scotia heading to the final of the Nokia Briar to face the two-time defending champions from Alberta, Randy Furby. Furby tomorrow here in Halifax. The Nokia 7210 phone with available camera headset. The new pocket translator. We make multimedia messaging as easy as see, snap, and send. Nokia, connecting people. The world's largest hotel chain is almost anywhere you want to go. The world's largest hotel chain tucks you in around the globe. With over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, the world's largest hotel chain is Best Western. Inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Call 1-800-WESTERN or visit bestwestern.com. It's bred for European tastes, but built for North American desires. With a seductive, ergonomic design, provocative performance, responsive power, Sexy, low-profile wheels, eye-popping curve view, and superb handling in tight corners. Not to mention driveways, decks, and even those silly motor cars. The Karcher high-pressure washer. You really have no options. It's like the bond between friends and strangers on a Saturday night. We're more
with the difference. You're part of a team. Getting hands-on experience. Sure, there are easier jobs, but with us, you see the world. You make a difference. The Navy. Think about it. Maybe this is the challenge you're looking for. Strong. Proud. Today's Canadian Forces. A message from the Government of Canada. The Nokia Briar. Live on CBC. Brought to you by Sheridan. See for yourself. By Karcher. You'll look for things to clean. By Ford. Built for life in Canada. And by Nokia. Official wireless phone of the season of champions. Some consolation for BC's Dean Horning from his family. A, a tough loss. A, a great win, though, for the home team as Nova Scotia prevails 9-6 over BC in this semifinal this afternoon. And here's the uh, BC skip, Pat Ryan. Pat, I guess you've got to take your hat off to Mark Dacey. He seemed to force your hand almost at every turn here this afternoon. Yeah, they played a good game, and uh, I think my guys played a good game, too. It's uh, uh, a lot of ends were, uh, were on the verge of disaster for, for both teams, and... Uh, just that one on the eighth end, I guess that's the four that's sitting on the scoreboard that made a big difference for us. Well, your best friend and former teammate Randy Furby awaits uh, Nova Scotia in tomorrow's final. How about handicapping that one for us? Oh, I don't think I'll do. You know what I'll do, though, is i got to just say hats off to the guys on my team, Rob and, and uh, Rob, our fifth, Kevin, Dean, and, and, and Bobby. They just play great. They stuck together. We had some tough times during the week. I, I let them down a few times, and they just hung in there and kept me going. And just a great squad to play with, and uh, that's really really what I want to say here the game tomorrow uh, well you, you know how you know all the hype I don't have to say anything more about it all right Pat good game and thanks for your time okay thanks Pat Ryan of British Columbia as we go to the booth Don uh, Pat Ryan deflecting the attention away from his teammates putting all the onus for the disappointment on his own shoulders but he it was his curling that really got them into this position here well, he admittedly had an up-and-down week, certainly, but they did come to play today. They made a lot of great shots, but they came up against a very hot Nova Scotia team. The eighth end, the turning point, as Pat said, it was the final shot by Mark Dacey that won it and gave them the four, but it was this shot by Bruce Lonas that really set it up. And Bruce made two beauties in this end, not only that angle raise, but he made a good one on his first one as well. And Bruce and Rob Ursel, that was the matchup at the beginning of the game, and Bruce Lonis came to play. He played very, very well in the 3-4 game yesterday. Did it again today. Can he do it a third time in the final tomorrow? Because he's going to have his hands full with Randy Furby. The two teams that started off round-robin play a week ago conclude the 2003 Briar tomorrow. Mark? Well, Don, for only the second time, the team that emerged from the 3-4 playoff is going to the final of the Briar. Purex bathroom tissue is pillowy soft. And now, new Purex Ultra is pumped up to be the thickest Purex ever. For an ultra-thick softness, you can actually feel. Purex and new Purex Ultra. Softness now comes two ways. Introducing Advil Extra Strength for today's tough pain. I've always been a hands-on kind of guy. Now I keep busy to stay healthy. But when I've neglected my diet, I've depended on the science of Centrum daily for complete vitamin and mineral support. Centrum helps make my day complete. Where the world is one. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships are coming to Winnipeg April 5th through 13th. The big question is, which men's team will be wearing the colors of Team Canada? Well, we'll all find out on Sunday, but for now, call to reserve the best seat you can, because this promises to be the best Ford Worlds ever. This is where the world has fun. Call 1-888-780-SEAT. We really love working the dogs together. 
It's fun to watch the young pups as they come up in the family. And it's great to be part of the True Value family. Our customers know they can count on us for good sense, good service, and doggone good value. True Value, official hardware supplier to Championship Curling. Ah, Nova Scotia. An unforgettable place where saltwater cities, living history, and legendary hospitality meet. A place with 7,400 kilometers of coastline dotted with charming seaside towns. A place that really swings. More than just a vacation, this is Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Contact us today for your free vacation guide. Crowd making its way home here from the Metro Center in Halifax after a huge win for the home province. 9-6 Nova Scotia defeating BC to advance to tomorrow's final. And here is the matchup. The two-time defending champions and unbeaten rink here in Halifax. The Randy Furby team of Alberta will take on Mark Dacey and his squad from Nova Scotia. And here's the Alberta skip right now. Uh, wondering what you made of that uh, thrilling match this afternoon. Well, there's a lot of good shots made in that game, and uh, Mark's team is definitely playing well. Mark, especially himself, is uh, seems to be throwing a rock uh, real well, so I know we're going to have our hands full tomorrow. You're on the verge of an historic win, uh, your fifth all-time tomorrow. Marcel was telling us the other day that he's been playing scared all week. What's been your motivation? Well, me too. You know, all of a sudden I am scared. You know, uh, this team's uh, faced a lot of adversity over the last few years, and we know tomorrow is one of the biggest games that we'll ever play in our lives, and hopefully we'll be ready for it. Can't wait. Good luck, Randy. Thank you very much. Randy Furby and Alberta, the defending world and Briar champions taking on Dacey of Nova Scotia in tomorrow's final. It's like the bond between friends and strangers on a Saturday night. We're more or less the working people we gotta pull together. The world's largest hotel chain is almost anywhere you want to go. The world's largest hotel chain tucks you in around the globe. With over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, the world's largest hotel chain is Best Western. Inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Call 1-800-WESTERN or visit bestwestern.com. In 1989, Saskatoon set a new standard for the Canadian Men's Curling Championship. In 2000, it was Saskatoon once again and a new attendance record that still stands today. Next March, Saskatoon shines once more with Nokia Briar 2004. This is the big one, the 75th, when we open the doors to our house, Canada's party. Ticket packages are already selling at an amazing rate. Get yours now and come celebrate 75 shining years. You already know these uses for your karcher. Here's a few you might not have thought of. The hat rack. The shower. The centerpiece. The chandelier. You can always use a karcher. A storybook ending here in Halifax for the home provinces. Nova Scotia prevails over British Columbia, winning its first ever semi-final in Briar competition. And so tomorrow, in prime time, it's the final of the Nokia Briar at 6 Eastern, 7 Atlantic. Alberta's Randy Furby versus Mark Dacey of Nova Scotia here in Halifax. Coming up next, it's the Canada Winter Games as the athletes say a fond farewell to two weeks of outstanding competition in New Brunswick. The tankard awaits a champion here as Nova Scotia goes for its first win in 52 years and Randy Furby tries to set a record, his fifth all-time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here in Halifax tomorrow for the Briar Final. Welcome to the Memorial Civic Center in